give it a second, and welcome back to Nat 19 on our 19th session. That, that's kind of cool. And so. that was the Nat 19th time I've ever hand you the penis! Boo! It's kind of a pity this game isn't in two weeks, because then Nat 19 could have had its 19th game on the 19th, and that would have been fucking amazing. It would have oh. been. Why didn't we hold it off? Because that's boring. We but it would have been great. We had two, like, zombie games or something in between. Zombie games. <laughs> a fucking Digimon game in, the, in between. Um, so, oh, yeah. um, in this particular game, the characters are um, in Daijin, the capital of, uh, of Adelia. They are storming a small underground complex. I'm not even going to call it complex, actually. Just a small underground bunker might be more accurate. Um, Bunkers are good to try to get information about a upcoming attack on Daijin by the um, by the followers of Kieran, the hooded dragon priests. The uh, we will have a pre uh, post stream afterwards where we'll talk to you guys. Hopefully, or Deco and I will just talk at each other for an hour about you know Titan Moon, whichever. I was hungry. There was no opening to say that I wanted to leave. <laughs> It'll be one of those things. <laughs> In the meantime, if you guys give uh, donations, you can give inspiration for the players to use for every dollar uh, that they can use on rolls, or you can get, or you can give them to monsters to let uh, make the monsters more potent and more likely Don't to kill the players. Don't give the monsters more ways to kill me, please. No, dude, it's more fun that way. <laughs> um, give the monster. All we will not be looking at chat during game. Chat will appear on screen once I switch over, and uh, but if you want to send a message, then we will be reading donation messages. Um, and bits messages, but only if they are not spoilers and if they are not trying to tell the players what to do. With that, I have hiccups. Wonderful. With that, I'm Blazing Agile Crow. These are the people. You know what? We haven't done this in a while. Everyone, why don't we go down who's in the game? Because, like, we haven't actually done that in a long time. In the corner, we have the man with the plan, the one who has the elemental affinities. Ooh. Shall we introduce the croc -a rock Ian! Slash Izzy. <laughs> slash Yamato SFX. Slash uh, Slash, uh, slash Kirito SFX. <laughs> Kirito SFX! Kirito Bird! The Sizzler Ooh. SFX. Yeah, Yamato Izzy the Sizzler SFX. I love that! I love Izzy the Sizzler! <laughs> and in the exact same corner, because they're twins, <laughs> we have the mistress of mutagens. If she never used it, we have the master of disaster. Oh, shit. The hasty maid with the crossbow po plays. <laughs> Isla slash bubble monkey. Boy, get that shit. I'm very happy now. <laughs> I know. Speed up the introductions, though. No! Make him longer! <laughs> In the entire other half of the ring, because he takes it up, we have the large Goliath with the heart just as large. Oh. With the crotch, I'm counting it, and the great armor that he just obtained with all of the nice, intricate designs all over, we have Guile! <laughs> Not to be confused with the Guile from How I Met Your Mother. Yo, right? Oh. And then there's Stonewalker. She's gonna die. <laughs> no! Cool. And then, uh, yeah. Also joining us, like outside, just in chat, is uh, Eric Va, Emerald Stag, um, Hawk Bridger, and. and then that's, you guys don't that's, get cool that's, names that's, because that's you're that. either that's dead that. or not playing. A bet. Doctor, Doctor Apple Juice is not here today. <laughs> He's dead though, so it's it's his prerogative if he wants to show up or not. And Buddy is able to join us, but doesn't, cause he's a butt. He's a bitch. He's a butt. -y. What a butt! God damn it! And I'm wait, your DM. Is that, wait, 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 is that true? Cause he said that he was working until like three, and it's only two thirty. I'm, I'm aware, and he's still a butt for having a job. Oh my god! <laughs> my dog, Buddy. Is that's that, just default. We have, we have asshole. my puppy named Buddy. Can All he, right. can he fill in? So Yay! I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch puppy things buddy. over. I'm gonna switch things over, and let's get this going. Journey to Adelia. Chat should show up momentarily. Just making sure everything shows up on screen. Where are you? I'm gonna go ahead and move that element over to here. There we go. Everything's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, so the first order is, if you guys remember, I pointed out last time that um, 
So, you guys, if you go in there and try to talk to them, you have less than a minute, which means Isla's haste effect will probably wear out and she'll become exhausted. Uh, so, you know that there are people on the other side of that door, the door that previously had a demon in it that you fought. Um, you don't really know much about it. Uh, Thought is a strong that. word to what happened to that demon. Indeed. That is a strong, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> they drowned it. Coup de gras oh, is a yeah. strong word. <laughs> So, the, only one who, the only one who like got hurt, even was I think just me. <laughs> so, oh no! Um, so Stonewalker, why don't you uh, target yourself and uh, cast Cure Wounds? What level are you casting it as? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> wait, I don't. Well, dude, I don't have the map. Oh, yeah, I don't have the map either. All right. Jesus fuck! He's like, whoa, Ian's huge! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what happened? Ian, what are you? What? <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't do that either. I don't yeah. know how I would do that. There He's we go. Like, oh, myself. For no reason. Targeted myself. I'm gonna use that good, that good, good stuff. That All right, good so you're targeting stuff. yourself and now I cast it. But yeah, you, can't you cast it as higher level? Yeah, you cast it as uh, a second level or higher and get one d eight more health. How do I? Stuff. How do I do that on this? Um, right now it just says heal. <laughs> yeah, it's got... I can, like, add stuff to it. One sec. Um, so, I should be able to parse it and add a line. Add Cause I have a, I have a bunch of second level spell slots. I think I'll use a second what, level what, spell to what cast level would this. You like to, what level would you like to cast it as? Second level. Okay, so... <laughs> So, in that case, it's healing. Excuse you, Emerald. The exact quote is, whoa, Ian's huge. God. So, it's D8s. So. Oh, Nichan, you're so big. Yo, right? <laughs> God. <laughs> Never say that again. I'm tapping it. There, I fixed it. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm going to put, yeah, just target HP and... Okay, there should now be a second heal thing there. Boom! Oh, I'm glad I did it at a second level because that's a shitty heal. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's that's. Oh wow. Okay. Wait. Is is and you I like cast you it again? Inspiration on it? Uh, you can't do inspiration on uh on this because it's not a it's not an attack roll or a saving throw. Can I it's, cast it again. Uh, keep in mind that was a second level spell slot you just used. That's fine. I'll use another one. I, I just clicked oh, it off sure. for you. All right, go ahead if you want to. That's better. That's better. I'm yeah. good with that. Not I'm good. Right. Second level spell off. <laughs> ah. No, I have right, one left. No, Stop no. it. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> All right. So as you guys walk towards the door, very dramatically, he puts his hand. Or uh, Stonewalker puts her own hand up to herself and heals herself twice. She's I just like, grab both boobs and I just. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, oh, I'm actually. Oh. Does cure wounds? One sec. I. I we deal with exhaustion so seldom that I don't know this. Does it have any effect on your exhaustion levels? It does not. Okay. That's fine. I just have, you know, just four more and I die. It's fine. <laughs> so, do you guys want to uh, quickly get through that door? I'm scared. <laughs> but there are no I, I will. Right I will. Now. I will allow them to make the decision to, to run through the door. I'm going to be at the back. Joy. Right. Um... Would we be starting a new round of combat as soon as we go through the door, or if, would it be the same if, thing? If you want to keep your haste, you need to. We need to like fight now. Yeah, we need to book it. But I'm just checking that it would be like the same order. Because if we were going like in the same combat order, then whoever got to attack first should go in first. But if it's going to be like a new initiative, well, then technically really you're matter. first in the order. Well, fuck. Go me, charging. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Okay, bye. Do it. Going up to you. That should have adjusted. Um, cool. So, you guys burst in. You end up in a very large room. I'm going to just... Well, by very large. Larger than the last. I need to get onto grid. One sec. Eh. Layers. Enter mask mode. There we go. Boop. Oh, God. The room got bigger! The room got bigger! Oh shit. 
<gasps> there is a big dude. So yeah, entering the room, there is a long table that has six seats in the uh, in the middle. Six <laughs> seats that, uh, or no, sorry, um, yes, yeah, six. Uh, th only three people, and considering the amount of acolytes you guys bumped into back at that bar, you piece together how many uh, uh, how many people in total there should be in here, and that you took out half these guys back there. Um, over by there's a large tree, that little puff over there. That is a very large tree that is in the middle of a um, place that looks like it's magically sustained. Um, there's water along the sides. Those little curving bits on the side of the room are water. This place looks vaguely <clears throat> like it was made to look ceremonial, like as if like to um, for religious purposes, but it's haphazard. Like the walls still look look uh, grody and like they were they were built in haste. Um, the table's nice, but it's got like Grime we're obviously still in a sewer. <laughs> yeah, essentially. But it's a sewer that they've they've done what they can with. As soon as you guys burst in, you have Isla, you have whatever you do, which will determine if they decide they want to attack or not. As soon as the door's like flung open, oh. by the way, the shield guardian that's over in the corner or over by the tree. Uh, it looked like it was inert before. Its eyes spring to life and it gets up. You guys recognize that. I, um, Isla and Ian, that is the same kind of thing that you guys fought um, when you got your swords. Oh, oh shit. Oh. <clears throat> so we're going to have to hit this thing hard and fast or it's going to just regenerate. Yeah. Do you say that out loud? Sure. Yay. Uh, fuck. All right, Isla. Because we didn't fight this thing. You guys fought this thing. Yeah. 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 Fuck. What did we do last time that eventually killed it? Um, I drank haste, so we're halfway there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hell yeah, boy, we're already there. And I think <clears throat> you uh, you summoned your shadow mastiff, and we just fucking dogpiled it until it died. Well, fuck. Okay. Um, God. I'm gonna be exhausted after haste fucking wears off. And I can't cast my Shadow Mastiff because it's a concentration spell, and haste is already a concentration spell, so fuck. Um, Game mechanic. Shoot it? Shoot it in the face? <laughs> you're going to shoot the, uh, you're gonna shoot the Guardian? Or, just so you know, um, the two, uh, the two Kieran Acolytes that are closest to you guys on the sides of the table, uh, look basically the same as the other ones you've encountered the other one that's a bit farther away near the shadow uh not the shadow near the shield guardian um mm -hmm. it the his robes look a bit more um a bit more like elegant he looks like he's higher up in the order uh let's mm -hmm. see if i recall is he carrying a <clears throat> Ooh, where is it i believe he's carrying he does is not carrying a weapon um he looks like he has essentially um, knuckle dusters on, gold ones. Um, okay. And he also looks tougher. There's like a scar running down his cheek. Like he looks like he's been around a while longer. He looks like he was giving some kind of speech to the others. Okay. And as you burst in, he's the first one to react. And he's also wearing an amulet around his neck, just uh, FYI. <clears throat> Not that, you know, that'll matter for any particular reason. Mm. Okay, it matters. Take the amulet. Yeah, taking the amulet <laughs> once we kill him. Um, but I think we should attack the big guy first. All right. So you, you do I don't know. The big guy is obviously going to be the hardest to kill, and yeah. while we're focusing on him, the acolytes might, you know, do us in the first. That's true. He is also the furthest away. So yeah, the we might want to take out the scrubs. Yeah, the other guys could get us easier. Yeah. Are we saying all this to each other? <laughs> like, what kind of in the room? And, uh, just because it's like, just because like, you burst in, you huddle up. All right, so how should we do this? <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're using, we're using our fucking twin telepathy. Like, okay, how do we do this? Isla, we have telepathy, Isla. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> we have telepathy, Isla. Okay, I'm, fuck it. Do with the amulet. Shoot him in the face. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, so wait. yeah, he's the one uh, at the end of the table. I wish I could. Yeah, what, um, crossbow him in the face. Um, right. Also, I want to use sharpshooter. Okay. Um, I'll just turn that on. Your thing. So go ahead and uh, target him and just roll your attack roll. I'm also gonna use ten inspiration. Holy oh, shit! Jesus <laughs> Christ! I want to kill him. I'm not <laughs> wasting my haste. I want to kill yeah. things. Do it up. Okay. 
the one. Oops, two. Oh, we got a donation. You can do it. Roll good. I give you birth my birthday powers to you. <gasps> it's Freddy! Thanks, Freddy. Aww. Oh, shit! Thank Aww. you, Freddy. You sweetie. Also, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Birthday okay. happiness all around. All right, so you, you got Every a 20, birthday. so you hit. Keep rolling yeah. to see if you get a critical. Three. <gasps> <That I did. laughs> the first 19 of the nat 19. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes. All right. Um, so go ahead and um, look here. Let's just quickly uh, go to the critical hit effect table. So, so how much did Carrie get from that? Uh, how much is she going to do damage-wise? No, I meant how many uh, inspiration does she get? She used 10, so she had 11, but she got a critical. No, I meant from the donation. Oh, I don't think that gave any inspiration. Just, yeah, oh, okay. Donation, uh, but let's see. Yeah, because it was just $1. Um, I'll say we'll give that one to carry. <gasps> Yay! Oh. I only technically use nine. Yay! We also got, Woo! let's see, we also got <laughs> final, final Trinity also sent a thing saying... Uh, subjugo, 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 a lot of S, B's, and F's, and then five Beautiful. cheers, and then let's go. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> I, I did I share the critical effect table with you, Carrie? <clears throat> okay, so go ahead and um, go ahead and roll from that table. Am I allowed to use inspiration on this? No. No. Damn it. Okay. Oh, did did it twice? Fuck. Why did you do that? I did. You click it twice? No. There, that's the one. That's the one that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the first one. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> um, in addition to standard critical hit damage to your target, you gain plus two to all your defense. It's attacks from the target until you're next. Okay. Well, wait, what was what was the first one? Um, so you're gonna there. if he attacks you uh, to, like by the time you're between now and your next turn, then you have plus two AC against him. Cool, but I have haste on, so I'm just gonna attack him again. Okay, I'm just gonna really quickly. I figured out since um, since last game, I figured out how to uh, target effects at creatures. So like that AC two thing, I figured out how to make it so it will only affect him. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so yeah, go. So roll now. Roll your damage though. Oh shit! Yeah. And um, it should already it should be flagged as critical. Boy. Yeah, it did. So da, 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 nineteen, Jesus. Okay, so one sec while I just check him. Uh, you just decapitate this guy in the first. We walk in the room, drop an <laughs> arrow into the throat, bleeds out. Okay. <laughs> Done. I'm shit, dead. Dead. Oh, you fire, yeah, you fire it at him. Um, your bolt just sticks into him. It causes him to stumble back ever so slightly. One sec. Did this fuck out of fist shield. I'm taking this guy's amulet. Um, and now... I'm... Give it to me. <laughs> he's within that She's space. just like fucking... She's all vicious and like Xena, and then as soon as she kills the guy, walks up to him and takes his amulet, and is like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> it's like covered in the guy's blood. <laughs> what a pretty red color. Yo, yeah, right? <laughs> what a pretty color. <laughs> okay, so... Go ahead and roll your next attack on <laughs> it. Ten more inspiration on it. I'm fucking this guy up. By the way, you <laughs> notice your attack doesn't do as well as you feel like it should do. Like, when it hit him, um, mm -hmm. his uh, robes... It did, you didn't penetrate the robes properly, um, so you get the sense that he's uh, more armored than he looks to be just from the look of his robes. Wait, fuck. Yeah, Is Sharp Shot on this one, too? Oh, uh, yeah, it's still on. Okay, cool. Okay, so that was uh, two. Uh, God damn, you have plus ten damage. <laughs> Four, <five. gasps> oh, there was a hit. Oh, Re remember to stop so if you get cool. a critical. Yeah. Oh, we got another donation. It was. Uh, oh, jeez. Taking well out of ammo. Oh no. Wait, I'm out of ammo. I think it's because each attack it tries to take an ammo away. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Eight, nine. Oh, no. oh shit! Last one? Fuck. Okay. So one of those it. one of those did hit. Yeah. Okay. Logan, what do I do Could about you get my ammo back? <laughs> um <laughs> just keep keep track of how much you have before you do these and just go in and like put yourself back to where you were. Okay. So you've well I you've used at least like six or seven, so I'm just gonna put you to an arbitrary number, but when you use okay. inspiration, just take note and you know. Okay, yeah. so go ahead and roll your damage on him. How you 
It didn't do it. It didn't do it? What do you mean? Oh, it was a crit thing. That's why I did, I did the same thing as I did last week. No, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, you, um... That's sufficient damage. <laughs> yeah, 8 plus 15, that's pretty good. You got, that's your maximum damage. Boy, get fired! You do, you do 11 to him. You fired at him again. It doesn't manage to pierce through his robes. He still takes damage as, like, as it hits him, and, like, the concussive force of it smashes into him and, uh, and basically bludgeons him with the, the bolt. But unfortunately, it doesn't cut through his robes and doesn't cause him to bleed. Damn it. Okay. So. And that also marks turn for those keeping track i have 153 luck nice. i know we'll say this adjusts at 18 then if i go forward will it adjust yes good okay <clears throat> so where are you sir um i need to target this bitch i am the shield the guardian guardian the of the shield, shield. guardian <laughs> Big shield gardener. Okay, so how <laughs> the guardian is within 60 feet of the Okay. If you're a gardener, then prepare to eat dirt. <laughs> oh no. So, half the damage you did to that technically won't be to him. So, <clears throat> 10. And then 10. Uh, you, um. I'd like, uh, Isla for you to roll a perception check. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna use five inspiration. <laughs> that cool? That's fine. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take sharpshooter off you now. Three, two, three. <laughs> oh. Five. God, these rolls are shit. Last one. Fuck. You don't know this. <laughs> I have the fourteen. Ah. Damn it. Also, we got a rather <laughs> long donation. What was it? Uh, one dollar. It was. Die for the Monstar pool. Also, all those FB, FP messages were Twitch emotes, but I guess you can't see them in Super Chat. Also, please scare the shit of the stream by screaming. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like I may have diffused the scare. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined it. You ruined it. Perhaps. Let's go! Let's go! Well, yeah, I, I didn't yell maybe we should go. I didn't yell directly into the mic because I didn't want Fine, to Fine, I'll leave. God. Jeez. Okay, so the shield walk guardian. Out while they're doing their weird fucking ritual in here. The shield guardian <laughs> actually moves over and leaps over um, the enforcer. Um, mm -hmm. We're just going to call mm -hmm. the main guy the enforcer. And crashes mm -hmm. through the table, st like, standing in front of him. He appears to be mostly preoccupied with the idea of protecting that main one. The main so guy. the table has collapsed? Yeah, he crushed the table. Oh my god, you are badass. Um, it is now your turn, uh, Deco. Oh, if there wasn't so many people in front of me. <laughs> Try and get the dude with the amulet who's protecting him for some reason. Come up. Oh, I'm gonna be stupid. I'm gonna walk out in front of my friends. <laughs> oh my god, you brave bitch. This is this is a perfect chance, unfortunately. <laughs> First off, um, you said that the the tree back in the back you... that it was giving off some sort of magical energy. Um, it is. Would you like to roll Arcana to oh, know more? Did I drop this? Um, I would like to see if I could. Uh, well, first things first, like being me, I'd like to first off just just kind of like feel it, feel about, and see if it's projecting any sort of ley energy. Um, this place, you're on a weak ley line here. Okay. Um, uh, also, Freddie just gave us a donation. I uh, gave one to everybody. Yay! Yay. One this is for everybody. This is my Freddy voice. Inspiration for all of those fine players. Kill those monsters with your friendship. I've, I've <laughs> met Freddy. I like Freddy. He's a good guy. That's his I was voice. Just say, in all fairness, but Freddy's yes, a really good voice um, actor, so that's fair. <laughs> if, I didn't, if I didn't feel any like strong lay energy from it, I do want to do an Arcana check to see if I can see what's up with that tree. Gotcha. So, I think oh. I clicked it. Oh, no, that was okay. I forgot I'm still kind of in I'm oh, still yeah, kind of like, fuck, like you're exhausted. Exhausted. You're two points of exhaustion. Like, uh, oh, this, yeah. oh whatever. <laughs> fuck it. I don't care. I'm just gonna shoot him. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Right. So um I'm gonna do um <laughs> Not 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a thing where I sh where I shoot them um, with my lay energy bolt. <laughs> okay, who are you shooting? Uh, directly in front of me, which means the shield guardian and the uh, enforcer. Okay. Ooh. The shield yeah, guardian took a dodge them. action against you last round, so I did didn't declare that. So. I want that. Um. So I'm gonna stop. You know, I'm gonna stop like targeting me so I don't shoot myself with this. <laughs> Just give me one sec, real quick, while I. I remind myself how to write a certain thing in. This is that part of the chat, everybody, where I'm like, one sec, guys, while I learn Fantasy Grounds. <laughs> this, this, this is a thing that happens every stream because fuck off. All right. Let's see, where are you? Conditions, it should be in here specifically. Dodge, 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 dodge. I believe dodge is a specific thing on this page. There it is. Special tag dodge. Yeah, that's it. So, one sec while I just put in, is it dodge or is it dodge? I know it sounds like a weird question. You, I'm making this shit for y'all. Dodge mm -hmm. and dodge and it's targeted at the deco. All right. Wait, so, why is it targeting me? I was behind no. him all at that point. <laughs> because. Why, and, why is he targeting me? <laughs> if, if, instead of taking an action, I had him, like, ready a dodge for whoever he had to. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways, He's still so, going to get fucking shot. I'm going to okay. shoot him. So you're uh, targeting both of them, right? Yes, I, I have just targeted both of them. Um, I'm using my thing. It doesn't really target them as much as it just blasts through them, but, you know, I guess I'm targeting them. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, just one second. So, and then, should I roll for the cast? And it's lay energy bolt? Yep. Yeah, roll for the I cast. I took off the spell slot. I went and took off one of my third levels for it. Yep, go ahead and roll for the cast. Boom. Okay, so it looks like the shield guardian made the save, um, and the enforcer did not. Oh, shit. Let so me roll for the damages! Ouch. Yeah, okay, so you charge up this blast of energy and you fire it at them. The shield guardian crosses its arms and prepares to defend itself, and as it hits it, it damages it. Not much, but it does damage it. It then goes through <coughs> it and out the other side of it and hits the Kirin Enforcer. I'd like you to roll a perception check, Deco. Uh -huh. How much did that do? They did 27 to him, so we're going to say... Eyes cannot help but to orbit the celestial body. Ha! I'm going to use uh, five inspiration on the perception. Gotcha. Because, you know, I'm kind of exhausted right now, and these aren't going to work very well if I don't. <laughs> so, first roll. <laughs> Second roll. Third roll. <laughs> oh. Fourth roll. Fifth roll. And the final roll. Okay, the highest so was a 17. That's enough. Uh, you notice that um, the, the, uh, the Guardian... It has marks on its like shoulders as if it was um, hit and cracked by uh, by concussive um, like bolts, but it weren't actually fired. It takes you a second to realize those are match the same place that Isla fired the crossbow bolts at the Enforcer. Um, also, the damage that the Enforcer just took is he seemed to largely recover from it, but even after the uh, blast hit the Shield Guardian, did its damage and then moved on to the Enforcer, it continued to show signs as if it was being damaged when the Enforcer was hit. Um, so I, I'm, I'm pretty much getting that this thing is taking damage for them. Yes. I'm gonna call that out to them and be like, them, uh, the, uh, be like the big, uh, the big thing is taking damage for the others. There you go. Okay, so group, you now know that it's the absorbing damage that's, that's being sent to them. We now, it is now the enforcer's turn. All right. Assuming that you had nothing else that you were going to do that turn. Uh, bonus action, Shillelagh. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I can't Shillelagh anything right now, all so right. I'm not doing it. It runs by it, and it runs up to, um, in front of all you guys. As it's running, it clenches his fist, and electricity begins to build up around um, it. it. He's what? within my, uh, thing? I uh, could you please tell me what your thing is? My opportunity what? attack. Um, he's moving into it. Can I do an opportunity attack on him? Uh, that only happens when they move out of it. 
I thought it was if they move within my um, my range with my uh, my new with my new skill. All right, fuck yeah. Go ahead and roll an opportunity attack. Sorry, I forgot about that with you. And you, he is just within range, by the way. Like he stopped a good oh. like three or four feet away. All right, so <laughs> did you just roll damage? Oh, just... I didn't roll. The, I didn't roll this one. Might, might want to detarget that guardian. Oh shit! <laughs> I jumped fucking hard, dude. Fuck the guardian! I'm gonna kill it. It's so hard <laughs> to press control, fucking. Shut Just up! Control. You forget shit. <laughs> All right. Um, ah, that's pretty easy. So I hit the I, I hit the enforcer. Is he? Yep. Um, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. So <laughs> you smack him and he takes it, but like as he does, as you do. He, like, charges this ball of electricity in his hand, then clenches it, and then punches towards all of you guys. Wow. He unleashes a blast of electricity in a 15-foot cone, which is just enough to catch all of you. Oh, um, shit. Well, not... Let's see. So, and this this might hurt a bunch. One sec while I... Oh, target. Gonna target all you Can I use Stonewalker as a shield? No! <laughs> Can not we not all gonna... use Stonewalker as a shield? <laughs> I'm tiny! <laughs> All right, so I'm made man, of metal. Can we make... use Gael? Wait, can we use Gael as a shield? Gael's oh, behind so every shield. I'm gonna have you really, guys, guys? All... I'm gonna have you guys all make a Constitution save. Bam! Oh, fuck. I just you're gonna pull, Ooh. buddy. So, all of you failed. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! All right, so this is y so, and the damage is boom. So, oh, um. Oh. Um, so this massive, like, burst of sound and electricity floods the area, striking all of you, um, and damaging you all. Damaging you all a lot! Um. Yeah, it did. He can't do this again for a while. Um. <clears throat> thank fucking God. Well, by a while. It could come back any turn, but he has to recharge his ability now. Uh, he <laughs> is going to... <laughs> Uh, what, how, he's also going to go ahead and, uh, as a bonus action, use his, uh, second heal to recover some hit points. Oh, I just... Recovered. Heal does, you silly bitch. Yeah. <laughs> ha, you fool, you can healed us in... Can, can, oh, everybody take, can everybody take 15 health off of themselves, please? No, oh, that's, that's just no. torturous. No, I can do that. Stick Sorry, he, he fucked up and he healed us, we're, we're good now. No, come on. <laughs> Making us damage ourselves. Everyone take 15 health off oh, yourself, you fucker. Oh my god, Stonewalker, though, what are you at? Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not good. The base I'm not oh, no. All right. I'm gonna. Someone needs what, to help me. I'm gonna do what I should have done. <laughs> I, gotta, I need a helper. I should have grabbed some water. I'm gonna grab some water right now, you guys. You guys decide on a plan of action. Gail, Someone you gotta help that bitch. Please help me. That's all I can say. <laughs> hey, guy out. Hmm. Wanna be a giant? Or like. More of a giant. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe. What are you gonna feed him? <laughs> I can give him enlarge. Just oh my out. god. <laughs> That's horrifying. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> would it would it take like an action to give Stonewalker like a healing potion? Yeah. Mm. I'm sure it would. Shit. Um, I mean I have haste on, so I could use one action to do that and then you know i would be very much appreciative because i have less than half my health right now that's what i'm saying yo <laughs> i'm also wondering if uh starfall can be used indoors you just you're just like starfall all of a sudden like you hear like a like a thud from above us <laughs> just like the villagers screaming <laughs> oh no what have i done Like it hits our enemies, but it has to pass through like someone's house to get to us. Oh my god! Well, actually, the way I'm thinking about this this guardian, by the way, I'm thinking it's a lot weaker than the one that you had. Act you guys had actually um, uh, fought before. Mm. AOE seems to be able to be something that can really take this guy down because he takes he takes extra damage based off of damage mitigation from the other three. Mm. So we can really kill that thing really quickly if we use a lot a lot more AOE. Yeah, boy. Starfall might be It looks like he takes 10 damage people. off of all the other ones and takes it himself. Mm. 
In other words, it might be a perfect time for someone to be lobbing some fucking grenades everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Destroy everything in this fucking room. <laughs> Uh, damn it, my, my cure wounds is just self, right? I can't do it for other people. I would need to give her a potion. Ah. Right, yeah, you would have to give her like a regular healing potion because yours are specifically coded to you. Really? Like the... That sucks. The, like the superior <laughs> ones? Oh no, the ones we bought you can use on anybody. Oh, okay, cool. So I was going to say, I have a fucking potion of greater healing and a potion of superior healing. So it's like fucking the get that shit, girl. All of the superior healing would be, would be probably too much for me. Like the greater healing is perfectly fine. Cool. Like the superior yeah. healing is someone for like Gael. <laughs> Yo, right? Or you guys, you know, since you all have 12. At l Here's the thing you have 12 more max health than me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. My max health is four, is, let me see. And I'm back with water. Max health is 52. As a reaction guy, I would like to cast um, Hellish Rebuke as a level two spell. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Fancy. Hellish Rebuke. One sec, one sec, one sec. So it adds, yeah, second level that adds 1d10 damage, right? Yeah. So it takes 2d10 fire damage on field save. And uh, just one sec, I'm gonna, I'm gonna parse the line and add it in there. Add action. Uh, damage. And then... Fire damage. One, two, three. I'll teach you guys how to do that sometime, dude. Does that any... There. There's now a 3d10 fire thing on there. So go ahead and target him and roll his deck save. Uh, so they roll cast or they roll save? Cast. Okay, it will, either one would work, but... It's okay, so he failed that, so go ahead and roll the damage on him. Ooh. Fuck him up. Hell yeah. Cure an enforcer. Ooh. So what does that do? That did 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, 13, which <coughs> means, well, so we're going to say 7. So 20, 25, and shield guardian is going to take, boop. Okay, so you cast, uh, you, um, as you're hit by this thing, you point your hand back at him and point a finger. Um, he suddenly ignites. <coughs> um, as he ignites... Uh, the Guardian, the metal on the Guardian seems to heat up as well and seems to be damaged in se uh, several places. The Enforcer does take damage, however. So let me just... God, fuck him. It should be dead by now. I'm also going to turn <laughs> off its AC bonus because it's no longer within, within range. So that's its turn. And now... Now it's your actual turn, Gael. Um... See, so I got... Multi. Uh, I think Giles is gonna ball deep rush the. He's gonna get in front of Stonewalker in between her and the Kieran Enforcer. <laughs> oh, oh. Also, while well, I was gone, SJ sent a uh, a donation. Hello, been absent for a while, but here's some money to divide among the players. All of you gained twenty five uh, inspiration. Oh Hell damn! Yeah, what? He gave, he gave hundred dollars. Oh, oh damn! Damn. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Our yeah. eternal gratitude yeah. upon you. That's going to be very helpful and hopefully keeping me alive. <laughs> that, that, no, was right? a, that was our oh friend SJFIH2, who will never have an actual name. <laughs> and he's going to attack. <laughs> he's going to attack twice with the edge of vindication. Oh my okay. God. He's going to attack whom? Uh, the Kirin Enforcer. <laughs> okay. So as you do that, just one sec real quick. So okay. Kirin Enforcer, go into your actions. Okay, so um, let's see. Your 23 was your uh, highest attack, so it's going to attempt an athletics check back against you, and it's going to try to beat your 23. It's going to use an amount of inspiration dice. So what is it? It's going to use... Would you like to try to cancel any of them out? I'm not going to tell you how many is being used. On the gate 10. Okay, so he's going to have two inspiration ultimately. Yeah. So he's going to have three attempts at this. Wow, he needs to get a 19 or a 20 to, to beat this. Good luck, Enforcer Good. dude. Oh, no, he's got a plus eight. So one. Oh, and the first one's an at 20. Wow. Oh, boy. That's All right. Not... As you go to attack him with the Edge of Vindication, um, let's see. Um, 
is you bring down the uh, the edge of indication upon him. He brings up one of his uh, one of his uh, knuckle dusters and he attacks it from the side, smashing it off course. And then as the weapon comes down to the side of him, he catches it between his knee and his elbow, rips it. From oh your shit, hands, dude, the monk! Rips it from your hands and tosses it away to the side of the room. Dude, the fucking monk! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he then just lets out a very contained. <sighs> Dude's a fucking monk. <laughs> I like that reaction. Ah! The guy who's using hand to hand combat skills is a hand to hand combatant! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I didn't assume he was a monk giving his guard. That's that's why I'm surprised. Like, dang. Mm. Ah, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? I uh, attack twice. Uh, moved in the way. No, nope, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> um, Kieran acolyte number one. Which one is one? Is that you? Is that is that you, motherfucker? Yeah, it's you. All right. So, Kieran acolyte number one is going to rush Gael. He's going to have advantage on this because he's uh, he's flanking you. So he is going to go ahead and target you, sir. I'm just going to remind myself if this will work again. There's a metal armor carrying up. Okay, so he's going to attempt a um, an attack on you uh, with advantage. And if it hits, it's going to do normal damage, then may do an additional thing. He's going to use <laughs> an amount of inspiration. Would you like to cancel any? Negate 10. Okay, so he's not going to have any any advantage on this, apart from the fact that he naturally has advantage because of how this attack works. So where are you? So, advantage, go. And one of them was a 20! Oh. So the NPCs are getting good rolls today. These guys want to fucking kill us! He's yeah, <laughs> gonna uh, preemptively use Stone's Endurance. <laughs> okay. We're getting into the later half of the game, boys. These guys want us dead. So, critical damage. Only seven. Only seven critical damage. It's lightning. Um, or, sorry, no, not, that wasn't the one. Sorry, take that damage off. Take that seven off of yourself. I'm gonna roll the actual damage. That was my bad. <clears throat> sorry. I'll kill you. Uh, critical. And then I'm also going to roll for the critical table here in a sec. But this is the damage. <laughs> 12. But does your stone's endurance still cover that? Uh, I have to roll. It's a d12 plus my con. Okay, go ahead and roll that. That's my con modifier. Um, uh, oh, oh, perfect. Exactly so 12. That... Good. Oh, so take yeah, that off. So, however. As he strikes you, electricity from his um, from the mace that he strikes you with seems to channel itself and enter your armor, and suddenly your armor is electrocuted. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, you're going to have to make a constitution saving throw. It's going to impose disadvantage on you for this. Um, would you like to give yourself back up to advantage? Uh, yes. How much would you like to use? Three. Three? Okay, so you're going to have two uh, disadvantages. So we're going to roll three times, take the lowest. The one. Well, that's Ooh. a failure, so we'll just see if you get a nat one for... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Eef. Well, um, unfortunately, you failed that. So, yeah, you are now <laughs> electrocuted. Um, <gasps> your armor is now charged with energy. <laughs> uh, let's see. It should have gone onto your sheet. Damage go. So for the next minute, every round you're going to take 1d6 lightning damage. You can take the saving throw at the beginning of each of your turns again to try to negate it, or you can remove, spend a round removing your armor. Um, but yeah, you're, you are now being electrocuted by your own equipment. Jesus. All right. Ian, your turn. Oh, fuck. Um... <laughs> <laughs> These guys are fucking around. All right. Why do, they, why do they even need a door guardian? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> kind of getting worked here. Um, question. Mm -hmm. Can I use Starfall indoors? Uh, you can. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. 
Fuck him up. I think I Fuck should probably up. use Starfall. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, think I should probably use Starfall. All right, so go ahead and target all target all of them, and then and then do your rolls. <clears throat> Um, I think they're the ones you need to roll, actually. I mean, if you go into your actions and then go to where Starfall is, um, if you click cast, it Eyes makes help, roll. but to orbit the oh. celestial body. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's see. How do I? How do? I have uh, cast. Okay. And then as long as you have them all targeted. Oh damn. So let's see. Fail, all fail, fails. Fail. They're oh, all fails. No. All right. So go ahead and roll your damage. Get that shit. Oh, that damage! Oh my god. Oh! Holy shit. All right. You raise... <laughs> you, um, you put take put your sword up and you call upon the energy within it. We're just gonna click Starfall so that we know it's used. Um, Dude, you, that you, shield you guard is getting fucked up. You call upon the magic within it and you launch several, like, massive bolts of magic that, uh, that, um... They come out of the blade itself this time. You have to, like, swing individually for each one. And it launches a <laughs> bolt of energy. They strike each of them, doing pretty massive damage. The only Baber. thing is, that I'm going to have to adjust is... Let's see. The Enforcer took... How much damage did you take, Enforcer? You took 16. So, 8 from you. So, da -da 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 -da. what would that be? That would be 32. No, 33. And then the Guardian will take an additional 8. Because there's no... There's no thing to automate this. Bop. Alright. And then, uh... Also, go ahead and click that effect thing that, like, knocks them prone. Oh, cool. Um... <clears throat> effect. There. They are now prone. Oh, shit. Does it also blind them? Where's your sheet? Because if it does, I can pass it. You know, really you really leave me Yeah, right, we're so cool. Every time Starfall comes down, yeah, we just and blind blind them. the sunglasses. Knocks them prone and blinds them. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna parse that and I'm gonna add in, uh, I'm gonna add in blindness to that effect. Jesus, Starfall fucks people up. Yep. Oh, I also need to roll to see if I can use it again. I can't use it again. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and click that effect thing again. Uh, <clears throat> Prone and blinded. Did that Did that do it? It should have done it. Looks like it, yeah. Looks yeah. like it, yeah. Yeah, that should have added the effect. All right, cool. So, I'm going to get rid of all the ones that just say... Hold on there. Do -do. <laughs> Actually, they'll go away at the same time. Okay, so they're all knocked down, and um, they're all knocked down, and they are temporarily blinded, unless they're immune to that, which I don't think they are. Mm. No, they're fine. <laughs> well, I've done all your jobs for you. Have at them, guys. Get fucked. Get them, boys. <laughs> it's turn. Oh, get a Finn. Um, I'm actually going to have Finn uh, go for the Enforcer. Okay. Mm. I want him to attempt, especially now that he's blinded and prone, I want him to attempt to steal the uh, the amulet from him. All right, Ooh, so we're going to have yeah. him make an attack roll on him. So go ahead and... Oh, yeah, I guess I, should, I have to do the Finn stuff, don't I? Um, Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was a better way. Uh, if only. So, control, enforcer. Wait a minute, you want me, Finn the Owl, to steal some shit? I fucking <laughs> love you. <laughs> and attack. Aww. It unfortunately did not hit. Unfortunate. Finn the Owl tried to attack. He had advantage, but his highest was a seven. Oh well, I didn't get to. Oh, okay, never mind. I didn't get to give him any, 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 any. Uh, one of his do you stuff. want him to use any? I was gonna. I mean, he has fifty-seven inspiration. <laughs> I mean, I did jump the gun. Do you want to use any? I would like to use. I would like to use five. That I'll keep it at a, at a low number so we don't like. Gets, it doesn't get too out okay. there. So one. Yeah. Well, that was a nat 20. <laughs> Hell yeah, Finn! Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, I, did, I just realized I never did the critical hit table for the critical on Gael. Fucking. 
Finn takes out of all his also his wallet. I, <laughs> that, that, was, his wallet. <laughs> that was that was my mistake, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, the uh, Gael, you just you dodged a critical hit effect thing due to my own uh, my own negligence. All right, so it takes the amulet, it swoops by, and it steals the amulet, ripping it off of the guy. It can do that or damage. Which do you want? I'm just gonna have him take the amulet and fly the fuck away. Like, get out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good He call. does so. Take the amulet and get into the other fucking room or something. Like, get away from battle. Go to the <laughs> tree. I don't care. <laughs> oh. All right, so that means that the damage is... Uh... The damage is uh, negated, and the AC bonus from the Guardian no longer takes effect. Yay! Yay! Shield Guardian. We need we need to like we need to recruit the Shield Guardian when we kill all of his friends. Oh uh, hell yeah! To be on our team, you'll find it doesn't quite work that way. Ah, fat. No problem. Well, we have the amulet. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to us, man. We have the amulet. <laughs> So that's Finn's You're turn. now Finn's plaything. <laughs> Kieran Acolyte number two. So he is prone and blinded. He's going to spend half his movement action getting up. I'm going to have him do a uh, wisdom saving throw to see if he can manage to move towards anybody. Or if he's like, ah, I can't see. Oh, no. <laughs> so the prone's going to go in. That way. All right. So let's see. Where's your... He got a 14, so he manages to fumble his way over to Gael, who he's going to attack. Because <coughs> Gael is the closest person to everyone. Um, and he's going to make an attack, but it should have disadvantage on account of what's going on. However, he's going to do the same attack uh, type of attack that his friend did, where he's going to, uh, A, try to hit you. He's going to have advantage on his attack. Would you like to negate any Gael? Mm, negate 13. Alright, so he's not going to have advantage on his attack. He rolls. He misses, and you're lucky he did because his other one was a 20. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so he charges up his attack. He tries to use the same attack to charge your armor even more, Gael, but unfortunately he uh, uh, he misses the attack. So he also wastes it, so it has to recharge as well. <laughs> this must just look so sad. Yo, yeah. Back up to the top. Isla, your turn again. You're still hasted. Right. You get two actions and a movement, or a, an action two movement. I can't remember what that was. Yep, 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 something, something like that. Um, I, I, a bunch of blind men, sis. Yo, right. Um, I can I give my potion Welcome of healing to Welcome to my town, Aronkar. Since I'm like right next to you. Potion of healing? Sure. Yeah, potion of greater healing. It'll take can an action. Can you force it down my throat as an action? I'm kidding. It'll take yeah, an action to pass the item, though. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because I get two because of haste, right? Yeah. Okay, so can can I move and then take another action? Yes. Okay, cool. Then I want to what do I wanna um, here? I can move there, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Um and then I wanna keep trying to shoot this guy in the Face. The enforcer. All right. Yeah. Let's see. You are technically flanking. Nah, he's already got two buddies beside him. Okay. So. And he's um, blinded and prone. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to use sharp shot? Yes. Okay. That is on. Go ahead and take your attack. Also ten <clears throat> inspiration. Okay. Remember to f remember how much ammo you have. Yeah. Okay. So I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I've got eight. Okay. Okay. Cool. After this, I'll have I'll have used nine. So cool. Okay. One, two, you got a hit, so if you get a 20, just stop. There's a 20. <laughs> I did it! All right, so go ahead and roll, uh, first of all, roll your damage. Yeah. All right, so he's going, he takes that. None of the damage offsets to the Guardian. So you hit him for 12, ultimately. Um, his magical defenses still managed to mostly stop a lot of the damage. Um, Can now, Isla see that that happens and, like, say it's because of the amulet, or is that obvious? It's not because, uh, it's not, the amulet is only part of his protection. Okay. Also, oh, I rolled that for you, I shouldn't have. Um, 
So I'm gonna share this again. Go ahead and roll from the critical hit table. Cool. In addition to standard, the target Neighbor. is weakened. I am not actually certain what weakened refers to. Yeah. <coughs> wait, no, wait. I rolled oh, at nine. Yeah, fuck. I thought I rolled a six. Yeah, that's weird. I'm, I'm just gonna give him a level of exhaustion. Cool. That's fucked. He has a lot of things going on. Yeah. His, his character <laughs> has like a lot of things on it right now. There are so many things wrong with these guys. A lot of them are his own recharges, but still, like, uh, exhaustion, save ends. We're going to use your damage from before as the save. Your damage was 12, so he needs to do a constitution um, DC 12 on his turn to come back from being uh, exhausted. Jesus. All right. So, um, that's your turn. Make sure to mark your ammo to the right place. Shield Guardian time! Shield Guardian's actually gonna get involved now. After it gets up. Um, it's fine. It, trust me, it's fine. I'm actually not <laughs> sure if it can be blinded either. No, it can't be. Yeah, it's like, does it have eyes? So it's <laughs> Yo, yeah. So it's going to rush at Isla. Fuck! Because <clears throat> she's the closest person to it. Fuck! I shouldn't have moved. No. Also, did it? Did it regenerate? It, just, it felt stupid to all be in a fucking group. So it regenerates some of its health. Um, just FYI, you guys are used to that. It uh, it got back ten hit points. It's going to rush over, and it is going to. I'm gonna see how many attacks you get. Two. Cool. And I don't believe you have anything else that applies. Nope. It's going to go ahead and attack you. It's going to use a certain amount of inspiration. Would you like to impose any disadvantage on, or take away inspiration from it? Fuck. Um, how do we how do we do that again? Um, I'm using a certain amount. You tell me how much of yours you want to give up, and you can negate the inspiration it's using. Sure. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's using two yeah. attacks, just FYI. So how many per attack? Oh shit. Uh, seven on one, eight on another. Okay, so in that case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the first one. Admittedly, I kind of just took all the ones that were in the dragon head hawk gave me and poured them out and separated them into two piles, so I'm not actually sure how much inspiration I gave it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of inspiration. Yo, uh, yes. it, it didn't have a whole lot left of the dragon head, which is why I did that. Now I'm going to take it out of the inspiration jar and refill the dragon head. Because that's what I'm doing, because it can't, it's not big enough to fit all the inspiration, so I just... I, I fill it with what I can and then use that. Yeah, new, just... new viewers are like, the heck is inspiration? Yeah, yeah. What is this? It Actually... means we fucked. Um, <laughs> then we good. So, like, it, one or the other. so it has two on the first one and three on the second one. So here it goes. <clears throat> one. Two. Three. Okay, so it hit the first one. Now I'm going to roll the second set. One, two, three. Yeah, get fucked. Whoa. What was that noise? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was grabbing me again. That's a sink. So, oh, okay. it missed its second attack entirely. It's only gonna hit you with the one. It rushes up to you. It's giant mechanical fist bared. It strikes at you. It does the minimum possible damage. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My God, dude! It like fucking punches me in the face. I'm like, that all you got, bitch? <laughs> I feel like that's not quite what happens. That's what happens. If the shield me. guardian punched you in the face, you would probably have less of a skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh my God! All right. I just wouldn't have a skull anymore. Stone Walker, Yo, your turn. Uh, also, uh, hi, buddy. Drinking, Hello. drinking the potion. With hey. Buddy, I'm here. And drinking, yeah, drinking a potion <gasps> takes an action. Uh, Welcome to the peanut gallery. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> I could, they're all, they're all so well lined up. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude. It's like, I, I should probably drink the potion. Hey buddy, if you want to look at what we're doing at Fancy Grounds, you should be able to connect to me the way that we normally connect. But they're all that. really, like, really well lined up for a good, like, ninth level lightning bolt. I also love that Buddy's never been here, and then as soon as I'm taking damage, he's like, oh, Carrie's getting hurt, I gotta fucking see this! <laughs> oh, my God, for a nice ninth level lightning bolt. I mean, if that, it's not, you're not wrong. 
<laughs> but they're also lined up for a good lay energy bolt, which is a lot less like resource consuming. Mm. Is there yeah. a password? Oh yes. Um, somebody in Discord. Yeah. yeah. But I should probably heal. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. That's the password, buddy. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Mm. All right. I'm going to I'm going to set myself away from Gael and them. That's fair. Since he's in front of me, I don't think I provoke any opportunity attack by leaving. Correct. So I'm gonna get like over here, like near this like little little area thing here. Like, near this near this oh. pole. <laughs> like behind this little, pole. Little, little <laughs> tiny, little tiny pillars that, by the way, I'm like... getting fucking behind this tiny pillar. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're in the wall, and I'm gonna fucking chug this potion. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, Logan. Yes. I have a request. What's your request? If there are any monsters that are targeting Carrie's character, can I roll for it? Um, I will allow that as best I can. Bitch. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Oh, but the only reason I wasn't asking to roll for monsters this, this whole time was a greater healing it was potion. Possible. Oh, That's yeah. why I said I will allow that as best I can. This okay. is a greater healing potion. How, I'm, I don't know. I don't have it in my inventory though. Um, so. so yeah, Carrie, you took that out of your inventory, right? <clears throat> How do I do that? Go to your inventory and change the number to zero. Okay. Uh, um, it's forty-four plus four hit points, Deco. Yeah. Okay. Carrie, so, do you want me to use my crit dice? No, you bastard. But, but, but you want to take turns. <laughs> well, you get scary. What yeah. the fuck, like Eric? That? I thought we were friends. I didn't do it. I don't know what to do. Um, hey, can I get on this ship? Oh you my should, god! You should be able to roll. Type slash die space forty four plus four. Why? I love you guys. What? I'm not. What is I'm <laughs> I'm not being serious. You should know why yeah. I carry. All right, so give yourself 14. back. You're give yourself back 14 monster. hit points. Yeah. Yay! And now it's the enforcer's turn. I'm just gonna like get back here, and you guys can you guys can do things. If they're still alive, I'll lay energy bolt them or something. You know, just. <laughs> okay, so it's. It... Okay, so it gets up. I'm gonna go ahead and. Where are you? It's also weakened, so I'm gonna do that that Constitution saving throw. One sec. It's gonna use. <coughs> It's gonna use some advantage on this. It's gonna use four. One. Two. It, it got over it. So it's no longer exhausted. Um, it's also <laughs> going to. I'm gonna actually put the blind effect on it. One sec. Blinded. Ah! Blinded. There we go. And. Six. No, not 67. Six. It's going to go ahead and just attack Gael again. Is, is there supposed to be a map in this? Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Oh no! Oh wait, there it is. It's yeah, I, I, just, I just brought it up. I have to share it additionally. All right, so it's going to go out and attack Gael. Uh, let's see. What are you going to do, buddy? What What can you do? Uh, I I don't know what I can do, but. I mean, he could just roll his live action dice and tell you when he rolled. Knuckles. Well, this yeah. isn't the no. This isn't the one on you. This is on Gael. Okay. When I said, what are you doing, buddy, I meant, like, Gael. Okay. Like, not not okay. Gael. No, no, you weren't meaning God. Buddy VA. You weren't mean... this okay, shit so you again. weren't meaning Buddy VA, and you weren't meaning my dog. Got it. Yeah. Oh, my God, with fucking Eric okay. and Eric and Please. Buddy and Buddy and so, Jesus. He is going to use his action surge, and he is going to get two actions this turn, with which he's going to make two knuckle duster attacks on Gael and two thunder oh, no. kicks. Oh, God. no. God. So. I'm scared. Uh... I'm going to. It's going to have four attacks. I'm giving it a certain amount of inspiration on each one. Uh, would you like to negate them? Twenty. Yeah. On each. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh fuck! So you're Whoa, using. Whoa, that's a lot of inspiration. You're right? using eighty. Yes. Okay. What? Oh my god! What the hell? You don't want to die. That's fair enough. Get that's, it, son. All right. So that. Has yeah, dice will spend. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have advantage on any of those attacks then. <laughs> All right, so one. Jesus Christ! Yeah, get fucked. Why it has disadvantage? I mean, he has them. <laughs> yeah. Two. Oh wait. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. So that was a hit. I actually, had to redo the yeah. first attack too, because technically. It... Actually. Oh, How many does guy I'll have? Uh, I had like 170 earlier. Now I have 80. <laughs> okay, it only no. hit with the one attack. No. So damage. All right, so it 
it goes for a series of cu- of um of kicks and punches at you, but only one of them manages to connect. It s- sends electricity surging through your body. Uh, you take thirteen Guy damage just from like it. Eighty dice. No. <laughs> 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 it's that the moment. attack comes at him. He just reaches in his pocket, throws eighty dice. Al Kwam gave him. It's that Kira vs. <laughs> Kitsugu moment. Whenever uh, fucking Kitsugu's trying to stab him, and Kira's like, "Nope, nope, 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 nope." <laughs> All right, and now it's your turn, Gael. You take one damage from the electricity, but you can roll to negate that if you want. It's a Constitution saving throw. Gee. Go ahead and do that roll. Unfortunately, if you fail the roll, you take twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> And you succeeded, so that's gone. Woo! You're, you, um, you, ma- you somehow, through sheer force of will, managed to shrug off the electricity that's, uh, that's housed within your armor. No one's surprised. Are any of the, no, one, uh, no one is even surprised. Like, he just flexes, yeah. the electricity just goes flying off of him, and, like, we're just, mm-hmm. me and Isla just looking at him like swoon, and then Ian's looking like swoon. Yo, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ian's getting gear and gear as this campaign goes on. <laughs> are any of the acolytes or uh the enforcers still prone um let's see acolytes yeah acolytes one and two are still prone still prone um okay i was gonna lean down to this mofo that i'm targeting yeah, okay yeah, that's on acolyte one uh yeah, he's going to lay down, and he's going to cast Inflict Wounds as a second level spell. Okay. So you know uh, how to do my rolls and whatnot for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a second at? level spell, though. Just let me quickly parse that. So it's 3d10 with an additional d10 for being second level. So I'm just going to quickly... And that's Necrotic, I believe. Add yeah. damage, so... Add damage... Four D ten and fourth D ten. There weren't enough syllables to make that work. Necrotic. Mm-hmm. And no bonus. That should do it. Um so go ahead and roll Jeez. the attack on him. Three inspiration on the attack roll. Gotcha. I mean that just kind of was like lackluster compared to the eighty you dropped. Oh no, yeah, right. Well that, that hit, that. but keep rolling to see if you crit. <clears throat> Aw. So close. Yeah, we gooch. Uh, you gave use three, right? Oh yeah, it was natural. Oh, one more, yeah. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll your damage. Inflict those wounds. Damn, son. That's a decent bit of wounds. You Holy reach, shit. You reach down to yeah. him and grab him by his head. You lift him into the air and suddenly fill him with necrotic energy. His body <laughs> withers. He lets out a, a yell as he dr- as he dies. Um, How many people are we gonna wither, Gael? <laughs> yeah, it seems the thing, you guys. The thing is, we too, just he wither the fuck out of people. It's a thing that you do. And also, damage exceeds hit points We're by one. Stems evil. Dying damage. I like to think that, like, any time the cast inflict wounds, they just explode with blood. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing, terrifying, terrifying, but you know, whatever. He's mm. a pacifist. And, uh,. Yeah, he was also vulnerable to that damage type, so. Yeah, this is the greatest thing, because, like, they're vulnerable to necrotic damage, and me and Kyle have two really good necrotic damage spells. It's kind of great. Kind of. Eyes cannot help okay. but to orbit However, the celestial body. Um, <laughs> the Kirin Enforcer, as, uh, as that acolyte dies, his body charges with electricity, as the blessing from Kirin seems to physically manifest around him, and it jumps from him to the Enforcer. All right, so let's see. What am I gonna have to change here? Your enforcer, you have to take your target off. You're no longer targeting Gael. Now you are targeting yourself, my friend. And you are going <laughs> to gain some temporary hit points. Poof. There we go. The Kieran Enforcer just gained some temporary hit points as a result of one of the acolytes around him dying and Kieran transferring the blessing over to him. However, you're dead, my friend. What level are you guys? By the way, they're level eight. Oh, okay. The enforcer, guardian, and a bunch of fucking and some smaller guys. All right. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Here. I'm pulling out my monster manual just to see how fucked they are. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, well, uh, the Acolytes and the Enforcer aren't, uh, they're like, uh, homebrew stuff. Oh, okay, never mind then. Let's Am I see. the only one that can't, like, like hear? Because you, you sound, like, really low. <clears throat> On my better? side, at least. Uh, Buddy or me? Yeah. Mm. Buddy, apparently you're quiet. Buddy's... Oh, no. Is, to is me this too. any better? Do there you go. Fine. That's yeah, a bit better. Very much. You're fine. Ian, it's hey. now your turn. I, I, I might have just been on my side. Um, okay. how far away from each other do you think the uh, the three enemies are? Um, they are all within five feet of each other. Okay. Because I'm thinking, could I run behind Gael and get in here? Stop thinking. It's bad for you. Uh, yeah, you could definitely like strafe around even if you wanted to. Cool. Cause I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna try something I haven't uh, I haven't actually used yet. What's that? Extract combination. <laughs> oh Ooh. my god! What the fuck are you doing? Um, basically lets me um use two extracts as if they were one and gain both of their effects at the same time. Well, okay. Um. So what I would like to do is take uh, what is this? Arms of Hadar or Arms of the Void. Pass that at level three, twice. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, here's where I could be a stickler, since the effect of combined extracts does state combine two different spell effects. Oh. But... Does that really matter? I These mean, are still trying to break the rules. I mean, people have been pickier about uh, less specific things, Izzy. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the only thing I have that does necrotic damage. But no, I'll uh, I'll allow it. I, I'm except I'm when it comes to elemental effects on weapons for some reason. So you're using. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So you're using. Um, you're gonna go ahead and use both your third level spell slots to cast this twice, essentially. <clears throat> yeah. Or shoot. Um, I'm wondering if that would be either that or Friendship magic missile. Friendship really is the ultimate weapon. Ooh, magic yeah, missile yeah. I can use inspiration for. Missiles of Hadar. Oh my god! <laughs> Missiles of Hadar! Missiles of Hadar! <laughs> they wouldn't do necrotic damage, but um, if I do what I'm planning, it would do a fuck ton of damage. Oh my god, dude. Um, yeah, just uh, I think just to um, try and make sure that it doesn't fail. So Let two arms of Hadar's, up. both at level three. Or, no, no, I'm gonna use um, two magic missiles at level three. Okay. In any case, both. both... Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, in any case, both third level spell slots. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that I can use inspiration for it. Ah, uh, yes. I believe as long as that has an attack roll, I believe you can, which you can. Actually, magic missile just hits, doesn't it? Does it? I'm pretty yeah. sure magic missile just hits. Yeah, yeah. magic missile can't miss. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll just use arms of Fadar then, if it doesn't matter. Oh shit. And uh, I'll leave it up to their uh. Their strength checks, I think? Is he? Yes. Ninth level mi uh, magic missile. Do it. I don't have a ninth <laughs> level spell slot, buddy. Yeah, I'm it. working <laughs> on it, but it's going to take some time. Casting his third. <laughs> so, in that case, if you're casting his third, I'm just going to parse the third level version of this into your thing. One sec. Uh, where are you? Arms of Hadar. There you are. Is he ninth level magic missile? Go for it. <clears throat> so, add action. Add damage. That'll be a 2d6. Er, at third level, it is 4d6 necrotic. I would like to cast ninth level magic missile. Oh my god! Yeah, go Hawk! <laughs> <laughs> you right. got this! <laughs> so, target them all and then click the strength thing. Alright. Fucking ghost of Eric just appears. Die, bitch! <laughs> ninth level bang! What do you mean? I'm right here. Father, son, Kame, magic <laughs> missile. Oh my god. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay. 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 That one, then. So do I hit cast? Um. Yeah. If you hit cast, what if there's a an entry for either attack or save? It'll do everything there. It's if there's one for attack and save, then you'll just want to hit one or the other. But since there's only one, you could hit just cast. Okay. Yeah. There's cast, attack, and save. Yeah. But yeah. since there's nothing by attack, like if you hit cast, it won't do attack. Come on! A mouth? Oh I shit! You, Ian. Oh, oh no! Shit. They uh, yeah, they all failed. Oh shit! 
So go ahead and roll your, um, and that's for one of them. Uh, roll it again, second time. Well, no, it's uh, you. You roll them as one. Isn't that for the concentration bit? I'm gonna, sure? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go re-reference it. Combine extracts. As a single action, expend two alchemist spell slots to combine two different spell effects into one extract, allowing you to benefit from both. If they require concentration, you only need to concentrate on one to maintain both, although the maximum duration of each spell is unchanged. Uh, if you fail it, then both spells are lost. Um, but you know what? Given the nature of you're basically fusing them both into the same arms of Hadar casting, I would say that logically it would only, you know, they'd be like resisting one set of like <coughs> magical tentacles. So. Cool. So go ahead and roll your damage. All right. Twice. So am I hitting the uh, the forty six or the two d six? Or it's right, the, that'll be the full 46. damage. Twice. So forty six twice. Oh my god. <sighs> Yo, that bitch should die. Okay. You should be dead. Well. Um. <laughs> well. 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 <laughs> did it do it? Well. Did I do it? Did, did I do it? Well, the, uh, the, the, the Kieran Acolyte is down. Um, <laughs> you conjure up this massive waves of dark tentacles that spring out of the, uh, the, like, what did we decide the cosmetic effect of this was? I, I kind of uh, figured it was turning my entire body into a portal. So I, like, yeah, you I just kind of turn into a silhouette of tentacles. You turn into this writhing mass of tentacles that body. lashes out and grabs them, twisting and turning them and striking them. Uh, the shield guardian manages to resist mo a lot of it. Um, the Kieran enforcer manages to survive thanks to the temporary hit points. He's only alive because of the temporary hit points he got from his other friend dying. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Because... <laughs> Uh, but he manages to survive That's it as well. Uh, as his friend dies, he gains another boost of temporary hit points. So there's another 14 for him. Cool. Um, but the other guy is like seized by the tentacles and ripped apart viciously. <laughs> and he was prone on the ground. So he was like lifted up off of the ground by the tentacles and pulled apart. We're the good guys. <laughs> yeah, we're the good guys. Here, I'll be Speak right for back. yourself. I'll oh, be right. My. I'll be right back again, guys. I need, to, I need to throw something out and get something. I just summoned an elder god and ripped a guy in half. Line oh, between good and evil and blurs. And evil. <laughs> the line between good and evil blurs all the time. It's just <laughs> we either cure people. For, okay. This is what's happened ever since we lost our fr our, 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 our friends that were keeping us in check. Mm -hmm. um, we have disintegrated several people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. okay. We have, um, uh, we have shot people in the balls. Oh, yeah, and we tortured them. <laughs> we have tortured people. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have tore them apart viciously with tentacles. And we have drowned a fucking salt <laughs> That one was a evil. demon. That one's excusable. Y'all yeah. are less <laughs> evil than my other That's party. Racist. <laughs> Y'all are less evil than my party, and it previously had a death cleric in it. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just like, I, ever, since, ever yeah. since the other three died, we've just been like saying, fuck, fuck it. it, anything goes at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. No more, none of the, no more of us are gonna die here. Anything goes. It's not oh, allowed. I'm glad my I'm glad my death did something. I'm back again. <laughs> Any, if any one of us dies, the party's gonna be so weird. Yeah, Finn the yeah. Owl's turn. <clears throat> what would you like to do, Finn the Owl? Uh, Finn, just return to me and bring me that amulet, man. Uh, Finn returns oh, cool. to you and brings you the amulet. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna pet Finn on the head. <laughs> Finn enjoys your pets. It's like they don't, they don't really need Finn to do anything. I don't think. Uh, fucking hoot hoot and shit. Finn, express yeah. your enjoyment of the of the pets. <laughs> you need him to figure out how many licks it takes to get to the center of a tootsie pop. No, oh, I... use inspiration for that. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, all right. Hyla, your turn. Okay. Um, I can move and still have two attacks, right? Yes. Okay. If you move out of range of the shield guardian, it will take an opportunity attack on you, though. Hmm. <laughs> Can I make that opportunity attack against her? Uh, yes, mm. if it rolls, then you can make that attack. Yes. Wouldn't like a five foot step stop them from doing opportunity? <laughs> Correct. You could take a five foot step, but then yeah. that's your movement action. Or you could do disengage. Shit. Uh, disengage action and use your full action to, or your full move action. 
Well, that's true. Since you have two actions right now, thanks to haste, you could disengage, then move, then take an action. Oh. Oh, cool. could. Ah, okay. Then yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that then. <laughs> right. So you, dis you disengage. Get up, buddy. Uh, where, Damn it. Where would you like to? Uh, where would you, you like bitch. to move? Uh, I'm gonna move. How could you do this to me, Gary? How could this happen to me? I've been on the stage. Got uh, the word I got. You wanna go... Here? Alright, so you, like, run around the Guardian over towards the tree. Uh, yeah. roll me Arcana. <clears throat> Oh, oh, Ooh. oh, we get to the tree! Yeah, we had the same idea. I was gonna head to the tree next turn, too. Okay. The magic tree. The magic tree. <laughs> the magic tree. Calls to us. The magic tree. You speak the true truth. Okay, so. so... <laughs> you speak the true truth. <laughs> the true truth. <laughs> so, as you head towards the tree, the you can't tell anything about it, but there's something eerie and magical about it, but not in a way that you, like, understand. Like, it's, it's something, like, frightful. It like ch the sense chills down your spines when you get close to the tree. Burn it. Yep, we should burn it. We should set it on fire. <laughs> um, 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 um. I mean, they're they're both fucked. So, um, so I only get one action now, right? Yeah, because you disengaged. Okay, I've been firing at this bitch the entire time. I want to like fire at the shield burn. Because the shield guardian's buddy fire now, through, so. Fire through your brother yeah, because the, the shield again. guardian is buddy now. Also, he attacked me like an asshole. Right. I didn't have no beef with him. So fire gonna, through your brother into the crotch again. Before you do that, it's gonna switch. How do I? <gasps> there we go. It's gonna switch that over to you, because it had that ready. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, sharp shots on. Um. Uh, yeah, I left it on. <laughs> so I get. Cool. Um. Wait. What, you gonna ask something? What is it? Who are you targeting? Oh no, I just said it looks like it's on. Cool. Okay. Um, in um, you is vibe inspiration. So one. Ha! <laughs> Two. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> well, you hit at least. Okay. Gary, okay. stop being so bad at rolling. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sucks you have disadvantage because you had a 20 in there. I know! Notice that I getting ones as soon as Buddy showed up. But uh, <laughs> the good news is you hit, so go ahead and roll your damage. Let's see if you can take out the shield guardian. <laughs> she can't take it. That, that was a one. There were two oh, ones and a two damage. in there. It is the shield guardian. Hey. Oh, uh, you, you fi fucking sharpshooter is a great feat. Does adds a yes! lot of damage. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, so she fires. She um with a crossbow bolt. Uh, it's like also I'd make sure to adjust your ammo carry. I know it's all fucked. You should have ten now, I think, by my yeah. count. <clears throat> you fire a crossbow bolt. It hits and it breaks through the uh, the armor plating on its uh, on its shoulder and like snaps it off. Its turn. It regenerates that armor plating. It like all floats Fuck. back into place and heals itself. I hate these things. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's going to then continue to pursue you. Um, uh, Ian, you are uh, okay. So the you wouldn't have an opportunity to attack due to um, being flanked technically by the two of them. That is true. So it's going to rush Isla. It is not giving up this pursuit. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i'm sorry i got my hands full so buddy go God, ahead you know, buddy go ahead really and roll um two attacks me. both of them are plus seven hit me last time you, you barely fight. did anything actually we, let's do it this way buddy you roll one eric you roll the other oh okay. shit what 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 am i what roll a d20 <laughs> plus buddy seven. in one arm and an eric in the other you're rolling to hit me d20 plus seven i don't want to roll i don't want to roll they carry Oh, bad. Buddy, you do it twice then. no problem killing my okay. lollies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I use my actual dice, or do you want me to use the dice in the thing? Yeah, you can use your actual dice, I believe you. Yeah, I only roll against Carrie's lollies, that's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> that, that, is, that is a consistent truth. It's true. It's true. Carrie! What did you get? <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. 
funny. Check for the dear friend of ours. All right. So roll the other one. Oh, I get two attacks, right? Yeah, it's multi attack. Eric, Eric refuses to do it. <laughs> All right, hold on. Do I have advantage on these or just regular? Just regular. Attacks? Okay. Wait, hold on. It's caught. Okay. 17. Uh, Carrie, what's your AC? It's... What, is, what is my AC? 15, right? 19. It, yeah, it's 15. No, 15. Uh, yeah. 19's her, uh, that's her initiative. Yeah, that's her initiative. I, I okay, mean. so yeah. the, both attacks hit, one's a critical. <laughs> So, uh, fuck you, buddy. One sec, one sec, <laughs> the critical hit table. Oh, Click two. In Why? To you. I swear to God, if I die and it's Buddy's fault, <laughs> the target is slowed. So, he doesn't even go here. Harry, you are slowed, but since you're hasted, the way we're gonna finagle this is you're going to lose the effects of haste. Oh, shit. So that, and also you'll gain a level, um, one level of exhaustion as a, on a, on account of being, of ah! haste ending. So that's gone, Beaver. and we're going to throw exhaustion on you. Fuck me and, real bad, buddy. And <laughs> now for the actual damage. Oh, you want me to roll God. that too, or you do the... I'll do it with the system. All right, cool. <laughs> she can hate me if anyone. All right, first yeah. one hits 16 damage. Mm. Second oh one. Oh, God. 12. I'm going the fuck over there. Am I dead? <laughs> it barrels oh, down dying? on you, and re as its like arm heals, as the armor falls back into place, you for just a second are caught off guard as you look at it, and remember that this happened before when you're fighting the other one. It brings that arm down and smashes it into you, letting out a shockwave. You're knocked off center. You fall backwards. Your concentration is broken. As you're falling backwards, it brings up the other arm and slams you into the ground, driving its giant mechanical fist into your gut you're smashed down on the ground um you're not prone we're gonna you, you managed to like catch yourself and get back on your feet but that, that hurt your spell's been knocked out of you you've taken a level of exhaustion um and you're also you also have less than you have 11 hit points left oh my god She's she's still faking it. Is that all you got, you pansy? Blood <laughs> 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 coming out of your mouth. You're like, you come at me, bang! I didn't even feel it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. Like Stonewalker, it's your turn. So this thing, I'm gonna check really quick. I'm gonna see how how far away it is from me. Oh, God. It is it's within feet. my range. <laughs> it's within my range. So I'm gonna whoop. <laughs> <laughs> just rush over, seeing oh, Isla getting pummeled. Satan? Oh, shit, 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 runs over. <laughs> Thanks, Stonewalker! Girls gotta stick together. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, this thing is a construct, too, probably, so... Yes. My, my ray of light suppression will not work on this thing. It has no life to speak of. Mm. I could shillelagh it, but that's not gonna do shit. <laughs> You can certainly try. Mm. Doesn't help you guys that when this thing was put into the combat tracker, it rolled above average health. You know what? Fuck it. No, <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna what? use my last third level spell slot to summon some fucking dragons. This again. I'm gonna summon two bronze dragonlings with my conjure animals. All right. Oh my god. Dragons in a dungeon. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm gonna surround what this fucker with dragon. Wow. <laughs> you could have foreseen this. I'm gonna surround this fucker with dragons. So, wormlings? Yes, dragon, uh, bronze wormlings or whatever they're called. Right, they are summoned. Uh, they, in, in initiative order, they are one's at the very end, and the other is right after you. Yay! <laughs> Friendly and. Friendly. If you want to get the initiative uh, thing up, um, buddy, it's the same as DCC. The cross Bell swords Bell! in the top right hand yeah, corner. I already had it. I had it up. Cool. Or I did have uh, it. Up. Finn no, says, no. like, yo, um, Logan, I know. He gives a dollar. He says, I know, Logan, you don't like the chat feeding the know, player's ideas, really but. Carrie, mutagen. No! No! <laughs> I love how you make an exception for the mutagen. I mean, I know, won't, I know she won't do it. I know she won't do it. But so. the celestial body. No. Ha! 
All right, so you um, make sure have breath do attacks. It. They have breath attacks and they have uh, bite attacks, right? Yeah. So you rush out into the middle of this. You slam your um, your staff down to the ground. Two magic circles appear, and out of them, conjured first from uh, magic, which is then surrounded by roots, which then take on the appearance and like skin-like textures of dragons appear. This is this is such a common spell for you. Dude, I use this all the time. <laughs> I have dragons and sometimes eagles. <laughs> and you know, I'm not gonna bring up sometimes eagles because those burgers. killed two of our friends. Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and like zoom in Friendship on the Friendship really yeah. is the ultimate weapon. Um, okay. So do you want to? Oh that's your turn. Do you want to then just go to the the bronze dragon wormling? Uh, yes. Okay. It is now its turn. I'm going to drag it onto the map. We're going to obviously assume that they're summoned right next to you. I forgot to put them on. I want them to I, I want them to surround this thing so that they so that they are like bigger targets than Isla are <laughs> or than okay. Isla is. Than Isla. All right, we can say that we summon them there. They'll be flanking automatically. Um, and because they're so close to Isla, I don't want to use breath attacks. They're just going to use their their regular attacks. Okay. Aww. Okay, so I mean, it, it it it's kind of it's kind of set. It's kind of like, what's the word? It, it's it's kind of like implied from now on that I'm using Shillelagh all the time. So I don't I didn't think I had to do that. Mm. But <laughs> so um, would you like to give inspiration to their attacks? Um, yes, I would like to give three inspiration to the to the first uh, bronze dragon. Okay, so one. <laughs> Good call. That was a one. Two. Yeah, that was another yeah, one. Yeah. Three. Oh my god. Four. And hey! the last one hit. Jesus. Hey! Two that hey! ones in a row. Also, I think we just got a donation. Um, uh, for, let's see. Yeah, the Finn one from earlier. Uh, one to carry. Oh, yeah, the, the Finn one gave a dice to carry. Um, and then Sigma donates $10 saying, Yo, Blue, I hear you like dice. Five to you, five for Finn. Hey! They're, they're, hey! they're, they're, they're from Joyce. Hey! Thank you very much. Five to you, five to Finn. <laughs> All right, so it's going to go ahead and do its... Oh, also, they, sh they should have had advantage on that. I'm going to re-roll those attacks because it should have had advantage on all three. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, because they're flanking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you might have got a net 20, so just being fair. That was a 19. Okay, so there you go. That last that one was bad. 19. All right, damage time. Roll. <laughs> it, one of the dragons latches onto the side of the uh, shield guardian. It's smaller than it, so it tries to just, like, latch on entirely and weigh it down. It, like, bites into its neck, starts ripping out mechanical pieces. I'm like... basically just making them nuisances to it so it notices them. It's definitely going to probably turn its attention towards them. However, Kieran Enforcer time. He is going to... <laughs> Ooh, what are you going to do, buddy? What he, am I going to do? I don't know. He's going to use... All right. Can the blind monk hit me? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still blind. Punch me through the stomach, I die. I'm going to roll a wisdom saving throw on his oh part. He could probably hit that... you. He is going to use an action to disengage from you. He's, and then he knows he knows the area well enough that he's going to fumble his way around. He rushes up to the tree. Oh. It's not going to be an action, per se, but he rushes up to the tree as he rushes up to it, um, gasping, because he's, he, he's on death's doorstep at this point. He puts his hand against it. Small bits of electricity seem to flow from, like, his hand destined. into it, as if Kieran's blessing from the, uh, the other acolyte that he got. Um, moves from him into it. So his 14 temporary hit points are gone. Uh, glowing uh, yellow runes that slowly turn red appear on the tree, and he begins chanting something very fast. Not very specifically. He's not doing it very eloquently, but he begins chanting something very, very fast to himself, and the, these like runes on the tree begin glowing brighter and brighter. And that'll be his turn. He's also going luckily to... He doesn't, uh, have, luckily he doesn't have high-speed divine words. <laughs> yeah, man. Gael, it's your turn. Shit would have been instant. Gael, I'd like you to roll me a religion saving throw. Or religion check, not saving throw. Yeah, I was going to say, what the fuck? <laughs> what saving kind of religion, religion buddy. <laughs> when you're a DM for as long as me, you understand what a religion saving throw is. <laughs> when somebody attacks you with religion, you only have one way to defend yourself. <laughs> religion back at him! <laughs> oh my... 
Oh, how, how does my exhaustion make me forget religion? <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. I mean, I mean, Jesus, I mean den Jesus denounced God on the cross. I'm just not... Yeah, he's um, like, I'm tired. Fuck it. I will. Oh, say, I will say, Crow. I have proficiency in religion. If that's anything, mm, go ahead and roll it. You're close enough. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put three inspiration on it. Okay. Especially because you know you, you, <laughs> you also have too. exhaustion. Oh, look at that one though. And four. Ooh, so bam. that tree, what he's doing right now, that tree is some kind of seal. Like the tree itself is, um, it's containing something inside of it. And those ruins are a pseudo divine spell. It's partially magecraft, partially church magic, which is why both of you would have realized it. Something is inside that tree that doesn't want to be there, and he. I need to is, stop him from talking to that tree. Don't he's I? letting yeah. it out. Whatever it is, he's letting it out. I need to stop. To, I need to stop him from talking to that fucking tree. Finn, you're gonna have to stop him from talking to that fucking tree. <laughs> yeah. Dab this guy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call out. I'm gonna call out. He's letting something loose. Yeah, I was gonna go up behind him and use beseech. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Gael, like, walks up I will Prepare give, yourself. I will give Gael my beseech. All right, you're both. So you're beseeching together. Cool. Um, oh, you like walk up behind him, like perfect. prepare yourself. Gets a one. Where did everything go? I'm giving oh, him oh, so no. that he doesn't have a negative beseech. <laughs> also, because you've basically fully pledged yourself to Alquam, um, and you've like taken up his armor and whatnot, um, from now on, Gael, your beseech is going to work. Um, it's going to work better. Where is it? Ooh. Where is Besiege? That's one of your actions. So you're not going to have the natural disadvantage on Besiege, and Deco will be giving you advantage. So let's get that table up, and um, where is the table? Alquam's mark. And you'll get two rolls on it, we'll take the higher. Ooh. Because your connection to Alquam is stronger than anyone. Everyone else was always kind of fighting against it. You fully embraced it. GG. Okay, so... Um, Share sheet. Go ahead and roll from this twice. That's a twenty. That's that's blinded for an hour. Let's not do that one. That's a five. <laughs> Both were blinded for an hour. All right. No! So that's exactly what happens. You. Uh... Oh, <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> you, you walk. You saunter up behind this guy and <laughs> you call upon Alquam. The room. <laughs> The room darkens. This is, you this is just proof that being with Alquam sucks ass. <laughs> this, this is because Gael beat Alquam at a game to come back. always blinds us or kills us in some way. Alquam's we get story. nothing from being his people. <laughs> There's so many good things to beseech, and you guys all. We get nothing. Good day, sir. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, you remember when I got those cool wings? <laughs> yeah, that was Lorenzo, pretty cool, right? Lorenzo did fine. Well, in the same battle, now Eric was over on top of building. Now they're gonna fight each other. <laughs> Eric now, a... now both of these people are blind and they're gonna hit each other. What the hell? Remember how oh both God. arms got shot off by crossbow bolts in yeah. the air? Jesus. All right, so guy, uh, your Alquam clouds your vision. Your connection with Alquam falters for a moment. You, you, the only discernible reason you can think of is like the presence of whatever's in that tree is muddling up up your connection to Alquam. The actual role, you know, reasons the role, but fuck. He was either that or he would have just been like, I guess Alquam doesn't feel this is worthy of him. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> it's okay, Alquam. We won a bot. <laughs> And just so you know, you can, uh, if, if you continue to pledge yourself to Alquam and, like, show respect, your Beseech can, like, improve more and more. My mm. Beseech is gonna get worse and worse. I'm only gonna be using it to help him. <laughs> I fucking hate Alquam at this point. Yo, fuck Alquam. <laughs> all he's doing is making all my friends die and be blind. Exactly. <laughs> die and be blind. Die. You knew this would happen. In that order. order. <laughs> so, what would you like to do, Gael? Um, that's and my you're, action. You're exhausted and blinded. What? <laughs> what say you? <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. This is because you're so exhausted you forgot religion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. That makes sense. Um, as my oh. bonus action, can I resummon the Edge of Vindication from across the room? I, be I believe you can. 
I recall how that works. Okay. That weapon can. Uh, one sec, inventory, edge of vindication. Where are you? I, I put in there that it can like pop out and pop back into you, right? I mean, it's bound to you because of what happened with Alquam. So yeah, totally, you can do that. Yes, quiet. <laughs> and that's the limit of what I can do this turn. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Ian, Ian you gotta shut him up. Ian, shut him up somehow. Blow him up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, come on. Call his mother a turd. <laughs> All right. Well, Alquan didn't do shit. How about bomb? Bomb. <laughs> 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 to bomb. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a bomb at him and uh, use ten inspiration. I beseech my high explosives. What? <laughs> <laughs> the god of C four. What are we? The children of Adam? <laughs> Hey. I get it. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I got that reference. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Okay. One. Mm. Oh wait, do I have like natural <laughs> advantage or something? Um, uh, he's blinded. Remember? Oh yeah, he's blind. Oh, cool. oh okay. That <laughs> gives me. Let's be bombing better. Two, three, you did hit him. If you get a critical, then stop. Four, five, six, seven. Come on, you got this. Eight, nine, ten, and last one. Oh well. So go ahead and roll your damage. Fix your bombs, because it said you're you're out of ammo. Oh yeah. Uh. There we go. Let's see if you can take out his health. Shit. Well, yep, so you throw a bomb at him. Um, Hell yeah. He's going to do one last religion check as he's dying. Oh no. <laughs> Kael, choke him. <laughs> so that'd be... Okay, he fails to uh, to cause the spell to immediately take action. You throw a bomb at him, it hits him. It doesn't detonate his entire body or anything, but he's sent, he's sent flying to the side, lands in the uh, the uh, little pools of water on the side of the lands room. Lands in the soup. <laughs> Jesus. It's cool, everybody. I just saved a cell. No big deal. Turned a man into goo. That's great. I'm a hero. The tree continues to glow, however. Ooh, uh, I need to get over to that tree. <laughs> Dispel magic. He's weakened the seal that is in there. Oh, fuck. Oh, of course he did. Yep. Where is it? It will now appear. Oh, God, it appeared right there. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you doing? It sounds like it's time for a fate card. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I did say before we played that I'm going to use all three of mine in this game. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, that I got you like did. four. <laughs> okay. I don't so... think we ever got over three, did we? No, we, like, we, we stopped we, us from getting we, over three. I'm sure I've never used any. Friendship like, really is the one ultimate one. weapon. I've never used any. Yeah, I've never used any. My my notes. Okay. Yeah, so... she never used them. Yeah. yeah. Now it's Finn's turn. <laughs> Finn, go drown that guy. <laughs> Finn flies over and pushes the guy's head farther underwater as he floats on top of the shallow pool. There's no bubbles. <laughs> Finn got a kill! Finn got a kill! Hey, that was mine. You fuck off. Finn no, got a Finn. kill! He's the hero of the day. <laughs> yeah, you got that assist. The, the other dragon, <laughs> the other dragon is going to attempt to attack Kill the uh, shield guardian. Would you yes. like to give it inspiration? Uh, three inspiration. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, I should have been doing these with advantage. One sec. <laughs> There's so many fucking One. creatures on this initiative tracker. Jesus. Two, three. Oh, nat twenty. Yay! Woo! Yay! All right, so yeah, first things you. first. Gonna go ahead and I want to roll the critical table. But mm. it'll be hard to. I want to roll. It's hard, though. All I right, roll, roll 2d10 plus 3. 
Two D ten plus three. Yeah. All right, so it's slash it's, it's slash die. <laughs> Space. Ten plus three. I think I did it. Yay! Okay, fifteen piercing damage counts as magical. So, and then you, sir. <clears throat> are... Okay, how does that kill it? Because if not, this thing might have one final mission it wishes to go on. But what if I what if I crit though? I, I I get to roll the crit table. You do. Uh, so one D. I'm just checking the one. See, when I need to do math, or when I have to do math in public, I suddenly lose my ability to do math. No, I feel you. It's whatever you don't <laughs> need to do. You're like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Um, all right, crit table. Uh, keep in mind, this thing doesn't have organs or such, so if the context doesn't fit, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. So go ahead and roll. Bam! 18. Go by Oh, shit. In addition to standard critical damage, the target's leg is cut off at the knee if it's a slashing yeah, weapon. Yeah. If it's a slashing weapon, this is a piercing weapon. And falls ah. prone or knee is broken blood weapon. Movement reduced to one fourth and the target will have a permanent limp as the effect or knee is... Oh, here it is. Knee is split and target falls and movement speed is reduced by half. Um, the action is... A, okay, so yeah. Well, technically um, the weapon is a spell. I mean... <laughs> So, um, what? yeah, it's going to, its movement speed will be halved. You, like, the dragon bites into its leg and rips out one of the, uh, what effectively serves as an artificial tendon and, uh, causes And it doesn't to... it fall? Uh, uh, I think that just effectively means, like, I don't think that means prone, per se. Well, it says the target falls and movement speed is reduced by half. Whoops. Nah, it's fine. Okay, it'll be prone. Yay! I won't <laughs> fight you on it. Um, so that means it's uh, got 15, help, but uh, to orbit the celestial its speed body. is 15 feet <laughs> now. Um, alright. I don't think it's gonna make it to its next turn. That oh said, God. you guys should probably do a worry. Oh no. I am doing a worry. I'm doing I mean, I'm going straight worry. for that fucking tree as soon as, soon as I, it gets to my turn. No so worry. something is going to make a strength saving throw against the tree, or a strength check against the tree. And oh uh, if it succeeds, it's getting out. Oh, Don't do that. fuck. Oh, boy. Don't do it. I, get oh, I got a two. No worries. No worries. <sighs> I got to get to that tree and religion the fuck out of that tree. <laughs> yep. It's gotta, you, you, if you repair worry, the seal, then. Isla, your turn. Okay. Oh, uh, fuck. What? Doesn't have a plus 20 to strength? Come on. Buddy, shut, shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> shut get out of Fucking whore face. <laughs> <laughs> Isla, do you want to finish off the shield guardian, which may represent a certain person? Just get out help, but to orbit the celestial. Finish that guardian body. off. Ha! Do it. Do it, Fuck. Carrie. Okay. Um. Have Finn drown it. <laughs> um. There are no uh, bubbles. My <laughs> crack is fucking I'm like, open. I'm like engaged with it, like right, like yeah. I'm so fucking close to it. Do I have advantage on uh, attack? You ought to be married. Uh, you are fine. I have two yes. You are flanking, so when you make your attack, roll the uh, ADV, or, or click the ADV button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen when you attack. Because, yeah, you, you have advantage from flanking. Do you want sharpshoot on or off? Uh, that's only for ranged weapons, so it wouldn't work. Oh, you're not, uh, you're yeah. using, oh, you're using the sword. Well, I mean, I have to if I'm using, like, a melee thing. I can't, like, use my crossbow this close. It wouldn't count as a ranged thing, would it? You could, well, I'm just saying you could move away. You don't have to, though. Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that use an action to like disengage from it or no? No, the five foot step doesn't use an action. Um, no, no move away from it, Harry. Let it get an attack of opportunity against you. Stop it, buddy! I hate you being here. <laughs> I mean, five foot, five foot step doesn't take doesn't take an action. I'm kind of enjoying having buddy nope. here, to be honest. But, uh, if it's five prone. <laughs> Thank you, Hawk. What, so what? What is it? Uh, you could take a five foot step then shoot it. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, I... it's prone and being flanked. True. What's it gonna do? Like kick you? Yeah. What's it gonna do? Kick you? Yeah, dude. What the fuck's it gonna do? Um, You're fine. But at the same time, if I if you I can move away I, from it, it wouldn't do an opportunity yeah, attack. I, I I can use the range thing. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just like move like 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 heal okay. like like heal. So I have I have turned <laughs> on your sharpshoot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I really want to kill it. I'm using I'm gonna use ten like I normally do. <laughs> Do it. I really want to kill it, so I'm going to do the normal thing. Fine, I'll use 15. I really want to kill it. <laughs> All right. Hey, make sure to keep track of your ammo and go ahead. And make sure to hit advantage before each one. 
Hit advantage before each one? Yeah. Fuck, that's gonna fuck me. Okay. So it won. Yeah, no, it'll probably end up being like none because you're exhausted and so the advantage is canceling out the disadvantage. Okay. That's two. Three. Bear, 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 bear. Nine, nine, ten. Four. <laughs> okay. Five. Five. Six. Come on, 20, you bitch. Seven. I'm not gonna get it, because Buddy's here. <laughs> Eight. Luckily true. Nine. Right against me, oh, dear right God. against it. <laughs> Ten. Uh, You're rolling shits, Carrie. Eleven. I know, it's your fault. <laughs> Ten, well, buddy, get out of here. Uh, Thirteen. Oh, God. I like being here. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, my God. Fifteen. Fifteen. And, hey, and, no, no, then you have one additional oh. one for your normal attack. Okay, last last one. Come on, come on, you bitch. Come on. I believe in you. Fuck. Well, at, <laughs> le at least you hit at one point, so go ahead and roll your damage. I, I did, I hit. You, you hit it. Good job, Kim. Ah, 20 damage. That's 20 damage. You yeah. fire a bolt into Fuck. it, it hits it, and it blows a hole into its chest. It fall. It um, as it tries to get up and like reaches out towards you. One of the dragons climbing on its back, weighing it down. It's like the the glow in its artificial eye in its helmet like slowly dims and fades out. No. It simply stops moving. Shut up, buddy. I'm saving <laughs> the, the day. Voice that comes out of he it. was it's my hero. <laughs> it's dead. Don't no! Walker, it's your turn. Rushing to the fucking tree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a religion check. Um, that is gonna be uh, a religion check with with a uh, twenty inspiration. Okay. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. Because I have I have so... disadvantage on all of these, so. Oh shit! Yeah. So much inspiration. God damn. Damn. We gonna need some fucking inspiration back, boys. Ooh. Not doing well. And it's a pretty high roll you have to ooh. Oh. That's oh. a twenty that's a ghetto nineteen right there. Yeah boy. <laughs> you got 20. a twenty one hanging out in there. Highest was a twenty one so far. Yeah. I need a piece of paper because I gotta keep track of something now. Oh. oh. Six, seven, eight, oh. Roll better. Twelve. <laughs> Buddy. Thirteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> eighteen. Oh, 19, oh, 20, Ooh, high 20. so far is 22, and yeah. the last one is. <gasps> oh. That fucking nat 20. Okay, so there. you succeeded one. Uh, so the DC's 20. Um, you guys 22. are going to have to successfully do three, uh, <laughs> succeed that DC three times to cancel out and reinforce this seal before it succeeds three easier strength checks. Luckily, you guys have an abundance of turns where it doesn't. All right, also, so I'm going to I'm going to tell them basically because I'm guessing with the twenty I know what to do. I'm just going to kind of tell them, hey, come do this. Also, because this is definitely a concentration action, your dragons are going to disappear. Oh, that's fine. Bye, dragons. I don't want I don't want whatever this hell spawn to come out to kill me or carry since we both have no health. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I so, mean, here's the thing. I don't even have that much health taken off of me, but I still have no health. So, so you succeeded one. <laughs> The next person's turn would be is Gael. Would Gael? Would you like to attempt to reinforce the, <laughs> reinforce it? Yeah, he's gonna run to the sound of Stillwalker. Be like, oh, okay, okay. Over here, Gael. Uh, just over here. Just, just walk forward. Walk forward. So go ahead. Oh, he's like, <laughs> out all blind and shit. Put out your hands. Don't ma make sure you don't hit it. <laughs> so go ahead and try. Oh. You ten advantage. All right. Oh yeah. Inspiration at advantage. Same thing. Touche. Well, it not it really, is, but it isn't. It's, it's like, ten rolls with disadvantage. Because like, the, way, oh, the, the no! way our system works is if, because we do additional rolls, if you have advantage naturally and you roll ten advantage, each of those ten rolls has an, like is two dice. Hmm. So there's a quantifiable difference. Oh, it's yeah. religion, right? Yeah. One. Remember, it's DC 20. Oh my god. You just rolled a 20 and a 1 in the same roll. At the same yeah, time. That's awesome. Know. Uh, oh my God! Geez. There it is. Oh, okay. Oh, but, but see if you get a twenty, because if you get a twenty, it'll Eight. count for two. 
Nine. He has to get two nat 20s. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> the regular one. I'm not discounting the chances of it. It's, it's, it's happened. It, yeah. I mean, That's you just, just get a 20 and a 1. It's as likely. Yeah, That's dude. fair. All That's right, fair. so you succeeded twice. <clears throat> Ian, do you want to give a crack at this? Come on, bitch. Uh, do, you, do you want to take him a crack at it? Want to take him a crack at it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what I say. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm a man of science, not religion, but I have a plus five in it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you fundamentally <laughs> understand it. You just man. disagree. And he's the only one that isn't exhausted. <laughs> the seal is both magecraft and church magic, so you could like approach it from the magecraft angle. Dude, you use a okay. shit ton. You use a shit ton of inspiration. Um, you, have, you have higher religion than me. You need to do this. I'm gonna use, um... The fuck, music I'm I have going 20. is awesome. It's like this- You're using like, 20? Oh, hell yeah! Like, what's imagining is like, this, this, uh... Yeah! Because the music I'm playing, what I imagine is just like, this tree's glowing, and like, it's starting to split apart, and the three of you are just rushed over with your hands on it, casting spells together as like, the wind kicks up from it. This is Beautiful. a much cooler moment in my mind than it looks on paper. So, uh, just to be clear, am I rolling religion? Uh, not, like, arcana? Yeah, or... religion. Yeah. Twenty-one religion rolls, please. Yeah, twenty religion. And did no. <laughs> 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 Immediately beats it. All right. Oh, there goes twenty inspiration. Casually strolls up, just touches the tree, just settles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was fucking easy. All right. Dude, I was getting out of Both me and Guy are just sweating because we're exhausted, and it's like, eh. It's going to get one chance to negate one of his successes. He didn't roll to see if he got a gnat, though. Like a gnat would have counted as two and like yeah, would have reinforced keep it. Rolling, right? Keep rolling, see if you get a gnat, because if you do, it won't get a chance to, to try anyways. <coughs> Dude, I oh <laughs> Dude, yeah. I like to imagine that fucking Stonewalker and Gaelo are like screaming at the street and he's like, Well, I'm a man of science, not uh, magic, but I'll try and then fucking fixes everything. Just walks up and fixes <laughs> one he just changes the seal. Yeah. He's like, That's inaccurate. <laughs> 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 All right, 20, and there it is. <laughs> well, 13. Get a lot of ones in here. 14. Yeah, dude. 13, you were lucky. 16. 17, 18. 18. 19. Jesus, the ones. How am I rolling so many ones in one more? Points? One more, man. And then, one more. And then you're one more. Come on. Come on, do more. it. I believe. You do it. <laughs> What? I rolled one and then I rolled another 20. Oh. oh. <laughs> well. So, it's, no. it's gonna get one chance to try to break out of this. It's it's gonna require a very high DC, but it could negate one of your successes. Oh, God. It did not. Woo! Yay! Why didn't you use an amount of inspiration? Shut up, how about? <laughs> 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 I agree. I used a copious amount of inspiration. All right, how much time do we have left? Okay, so you manage to stop it. The tree settles. The seal on it is reinforced again and uh, put back into place. Uh, whatever is stored inside of that tree is at least for now staying inside of that tree. Oh, I'm about to find out what's in this tree. Yeah? I'm going to talk to the tree. No. Oh, dude! To, like, the, 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 the tree itself? I have um, to do uh, speak with plants in my staff of the woodlands. Okay. Ooh, oh my god. I'd li I'd like to know everything that everything this tree might know about what's in it or even when you, possibly talk to the demon within. When you talk to the tree, you're going to get a Stonewalker might get a Baby. bit upset about this. Uh-oh. The only I thing might, that I comes to <laughs> as you tell, as you begin to telepathically commune with the tree, all you hear are like inhuman sounds of agony. Like this tree sounds like it's in constant like unimaginable pain. Oh. Is there any way that I can calm it down to speak with it? Hmm. Roll nature. Two. I'm going to uh, put ten inspiration on nature. Okay. Because, you know, again, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Sixteen. That's pretty good for exhausted. Oh, that would yeah, be dude. twenty. Now, this is, again, going to be a pretty high roll. What in the world is wrong with you? Okay. Hi highest so far is a 16, which is not high enough. Ooh, 19, though. Oh. Um. And two more. Done. You don't manage to um, ease the, like, the pain of the tree, but you do manage to 
commune with it enough to get a general understanding of exactly what its, um, like, its feelings are and why it's like this. This demon is constantly fighting its way out. This tree is magical in nature in that, um, it's not ordinary. Like, this tree is a sort of, uh, of fae. And, um... Mm. Oh, it, you shouldn't have told me that! It oh, was, no! It was bound in place and used to seal this thing. This whole room... Um, appears to be part of a large magical apparatus that was constructed specifically to keep whatever's in this tree sealed away. Um, Ian and Isla, you guys, if you were to be told this information, um, Sasaki mentioned a long time ago that all over Adelia there are small places that are used to seal all manner of things, be them artifacts or other magical things. Mm -hmm. This this room and this underground <clears throat> area probably was one of those things, and it was made to seal this creature. I am. I'm speaking. I'm speaking all this aloud to to all of them. Yeah. yeah. The only way to uh, end the tree's pain is to free the demon, and uh, and to kill it and allow the tree to heal. But freeing it may also kill the tree. Or you. Or uh, yeah, yeah, you know, once it's out, the demon. Will come. We Unless... should just leave. <laughs> we should probably leave. Should you I'm, leave? I'm, I'm going. I'm going to bring all. I'm going to bring all this up to everyone. The seal is as of now completely taken care of but without someone here i don't know what will happen with this thing i don't know if the people here were continually working on the seal or anything about it but this demon inside is hurting this fey creature i'm not sure how long the seal will, will last without the people of curran to be here I mean, we could just tell Duncan about it. I'm sure we I can have somebody look out for this the thing. Celestial body. Ha! For now, the seal should be fine if we leave it for a little while. I believe. Mm. Yeah. I mean, what? what I do think you I did a pretty good job sealing it back up. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> can we put any more like magical? enhancements on this tree to maybe help it you could use spell slots to reinforce it to add additional magical energy to it well i was more thinking we're on a uh we're on a weak a weak ley line right correct um is there a way that i can bind the fey creature with my uh land bond to the fail energy or to the uh um, uh to the um lay energy and not the demon Ooh, land bond. corrupt the ley line <laughs> I'd have to go and look at your spell. So land bond's a spell, correct? Yes, it is a first level spell. Where are you? First level land bond. So you touch one. At two. least, you know, for like, again, it only lasts an hour, but I, we could reinforce it to go tell Duncan and then maybe come back. Okay. You could do that. You could give the tree uh, that additional strength. It'd probably also ease its pain during that time because you could use the magic to more rapidly heal itself. Okay, I'm I'm going to cast I'm going to cast the land bond. Uh, I don't think I get any bonuses for casting it at a higher level. No. Um, but I, I am going to cast land bond on the tree while we're here. Okay. The tree seems to become a bit more healthy. The leaves on it become a bit more green. The water around it seems to become clearer. The guy kind of bubbles up from a. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Dead again. <laughs> there are no bubbles. <laughs> I would sincerely like to start using that as a term for its dead. Like, you slash the creature, it falls to the ground. There are no bubbles. Hell yeah. <laughs> there are no bubbles. Eyes um, cannot help but to We have an hour for my spell to, uh, for my spell to continue uh, to continue to aid the tree. We should probably go and at least let Duncan know what's going on. And motions to all the dead people. I, uh, I guess we could also see if they have anything on them to help us with them uh, to help us understand this place a bit more. Yeah, and even if they don't, it can be fertilizer for the tree. Aww. <laughs> roll I agree with this. As a druid, I'm fine with fertilizing the tree. Everybody roll investigation. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, my God, a 17. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, just, I just, like, you guys can investigate. I'm going to go sit on this freaking, like, I'm gonna go sit on this uh, this, this this dead construct. Oh my god! The party's we're all so spent. So Ian. exhausted. Ian's the only one that's like, "Why are you guys sweating so much? I'm fine." Jogging <laughs> in place. I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, um, Ian, you're the one that you have the sense to go over to the Enforcer and look around him. You find a document on a piece of parchment. Um, it doesn't detail anything specific, unfortunately. It details that um, there is a plan, and the, uh, the uh, actual attacks that you guys came here to investigate are, in fact, going to happen. I'm gonna get my calendar out here. Uh, they're gonna happen on the 24th. It is currently 12.21 a.m. of the 22nd. Um, so they are going to happen um, on the 24th. The thing details that they don't, that the um, people carrying out the attack are going to be performing a summoning ritual to try to conjure Kieran in the middle of the city as opposed to bringing it in from outside to attack. And they've set up a large antechamber somewhere to facilitate the ritual. However, they don't want to leak the information to anybody except the highest of authorities, so um, the small pockets of Kieran's uh, followers that are in the city, this being one of them, this room being one of them, um, small like gates are going to open to bridge these like these hideouts to that antechamber at that time. So on the 24th, a gate will open here that leads to where the ritual is happening. Hmm. And I just relay this to everybody. Yes, certainly. <clears throat> We're all just kind of sitting down, like, on, like, and you're just like, I found this thing. Why are you guys all exhausted? Anyway, this is what it re reads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it was too much to hope for that this was, like, their entire attack force. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that would have been way too easy, man. We could have warned Duncan and Tobias, and they could prepare a force. We could have them wait here. <laughs> Do March in the that, night, they like, start the ritual. Tree has yeah. anything to do with the ritual? Uh, the, the document does not mention the tree. And I'm guessing that um, the enforcers, like um, uh, ga like gauntlet thingies, and the maces from the other guys, they're not actually magical. No, the magic that they were using came from the blessings themselves, and the physical yeah. damage that was being dealt by the enforcer was mostly <clears throat> his own physical prowess. The br those bracer things he has, though, the, the things on his arm, what were they? The knuckle dusters. Yeah, the knuckle dusters. Uh, they're essentially just like um, really religious looking uh, like um, iron knuckles and such. Would they add any AC? What no, about the amulet? No. The oh. amulet is actually a... Um, with the shield up amulet. Yo! <laughs> with the shield guardian dead, that amulet is actually a, um, a non-wondrous magical item. Like it has magic and it's valuable, but it's only magic actually pertained to that specific shield guardian. And, uh, we can put him back together. Yeah. <laughs> Could we? The Picture like putting on the amulet and taking damage you know, way later, really and then just cutting to this like pile me. of scrap metal, like looking like it's getting punched by something invisible. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. <laughs> It was also attuned to that mage specifically, and while you could reattune to it, it would take a while, and you'd probably have to break a spell that's already on it. Mm. We'll figure that out after we go get Duncan. Yeah, yeah, whatever, let's steal we'll it. We'll figure out this amulet after we go get Duncan. Until then, it's a nice accessory for my neck. Aww, <laughs> so, so pretty. Things to consider. Uh, Tobias did say he'd need a few days to recover, so he may not be himself well enough to tackle whatever's going on on the 24th. Um... <laughs> but he may just as well be. We'll see how he recovers. Um, as um, We're actually going to stop here today because we're actually almost at time, and this is a good jumping off Did point. Did they have any gold or loot? Yeah, um, they question. did not. They had some rations and food and their clothing and their weapons, but nothing else. Hey, we have more We have more Kirin, Kirin robes. How long did it take us to get from, uh, like, Duncan and Tobias's place to here? Yeah. Um, apart from the meandering you guys did because you all rolled pretty badly on your investigation checks on account of exhaustion, <laughs> uh, it would take about an hour, hour and a half. Okay, that's fucking nothing, okay. That's where you're gonna be like, yeah, it takes two days to get back there, but... Oh, fuck no, it's in the same city. <laughs> you're, you're in the same city now. Okay, if, if, well. we're just, if we're just gonna go and get Duncan and bring him back here, I think I might just have Stonewalker stay here to keep yeah. casting Lamb Bond. I was gonna say Kyle was just gonna make holy water out of the water in the room and use it. <laughs> Then I should. Yes, we could just send. The, we could just send the twins up, and have them go yeah. get Duncan. Yeah, me, me and Izzy should leave because like all the holy water that's near our swords gets destroyed. Okay. <laughs> Would everybody like to treat this period as the long rest for the day? Oh heck yes. yes. Okay. Oh, so I forget. Is that a thing? Or I, I'll, I'll still take away yeah, like. If we do have a long rest, I'll still take away one of I my mean, first uh, level slots I because I'm, I'm, again, I'm just You're gonna cast Lambon again immediately. Okay. 
But yeah, my, mine says, uh, Eyes like, you help, the but star stench notice 10 feet away. <laughs> also, water within 10 feet of you is destroyed. Oh, God. Yeah. So you're just gonna hang out in the middle of the room? Yo, right? I'm just like, I'm gonna hang out over here. Here. So along with you going to get Tobias and Duncan, I'm gonna pass us along to 6 a.m. also to facilitate the long rest. Um, yeah. Well, actually, I'm, I'm gonna push us to 8 a.m. Um, I casted for, Lamb Bond a lot. <laughs> wait, for for long resting, do we get our like, health and stuff? Yeah, on? that's what I'm. Uh, yes. So if I can, can you like, cast Lamb Bond on this thing? Is that gonna take away like a couple of my well, first couple of spells even even is, through the? This is a generally. Um, it's not a very important thing, so. Cosmetically, we'll say you cast it, but we'll uh, take away the one spell slot after your long rest, and we'll call it even. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and long rest the group. One sec. Rest. Long rest. Bam. Um, yeah, you guys are... Looks like you guys are all healed. Hell yeah. You all got your stuff back. Um, you should be good. Got your abilities. Uh, I'm just going to check Ian's sheet really quickly to make sure that Ian got back is cast of starfall yep that reset all right yep you guys are you guys are good with that um so from a gameplay point of view just to give you a general idea of the structure of the next uh two days i'm going to present you guys with a series of things to do you already kind of have some ideas of what you can do during that time um during the next couple of games you guys will have to select what you want to do within the city and who you want to help out before all that stuff goes down mm -hmm. um I, just to give you a forewarning, there will be more to do than you can do during that time. So keep that in mind when you when you schedule. Those of you that have played Persona Five, well, yeah. Indeed. I'm just. But what if? But what if I increase? Well, how can I? I want to take the big the Big Bang Challenge. Come on, man. I, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying this during that time so you guys don't try to do everything like at the same time and end up doing nothing because that wouldn't be very satisfying for you as players. I don't think. Mm -hmm. Like, one thing that you've already been told about is uh, helping Gear Free. Yeah. 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 Are we, are we gonna be, are we gonna be, like, separating to do all these things? That's how, it's your choice. I mean, you know, the old uh, adage, don't split the party, may, maybe applies. Yeah, I was, I was just wondering if this was gonna be, like, something like that. Like, if it was gonna be, like, because you said we had time. I didn't know if you meant, like, oh, you know, you can do all these little meaningless things or you could like do this big thing like i didn't know what what actually meant with that um you could on the 24th this like large scale attack will at least begin even if it doesn't follow through and i just want to give you guys the warning that it's probably going to be one of the larger events in the campaign if not the largest in terms of like scale if <clears> it <throat> happens unless you guys like you know saboteur your way around it um so, just, I don't know, I just being a very nice DM and just giving you guys a, a heads up to not expend all your resources at the time it happens, you know? Be ready. I'm going to spend time with my with my tree friend. All right. uh, I'm going to go fishing <laughs> for, like, each day, so. there And um, some things that you could do, uh, there's helping Gear Free, tracking down Sasaki, um... Uh, a, a, for Gael, um, actually forming a proper pact with Alquam, like your your proper oath, like things like that. But I'll give you guys a more detailed rundown and give you guys like where the opportunities are coming from within game next game. Okay. Cool. Coolio, I'm worried about you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna form a pact <laughs> with this Fey. <laughs> Coolio, you lied to us. You didn't I'm gonna I'm gonna form a pact with the Tree Fey. You're funny. I'm gonna be a fay. I'm gonna be a fay packed uh, fucking uh, druid. It'd be great. There we go. I got all the all the blinded and exhausted effects off of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Those really fuck you up, don't they? Well, they Even just one exhaust fucks you up. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. So and if you get six, you just fucking die. <laughs> So, Eco. Hey, what's um, up, man? Are you doing post stream? Uh, I will be doing post stream. I'm going to be changing the thing up for it really quickly before we, I start it, though. We won't stop until the overlap and we send people over that way. We're going to take a look at the chat now, now that we're allowed to. Hey, at least Stonewalker didn't die. 
Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I think Isla came closer to dying than me. Because <laughs> of buddy. All right, yo, this curry bread is fucking amazing. You guys need to make it. Or you need to make it for me. Oh, it's on yeah. your broadcaster for the last time. I'll make it for you. Why should I have to make my own food? Um, oh. I'll pay you to fly me out to wherever you're at and I'll cook for you. <laughs> Damn, dude. So, uh, Logan, I have a question. Oh. Yes. I noticed on the, um, the crit tables, at the very end of each one, it says something about an action point if you can't do the effect. What's that mean? Um, fucking, I'm pretty sure that, like, what is it, fighters? There's, a uh, some fighters use those. One sec. No, those are classes. Where are ya? Because, like, I remember in 4E, action points were, like... It's possible that table. It's possible this table is taken from 4E. It might not be fire uh, related, but it uses. All right, that makes sense. Term. It uses close enough terms that I'm like, whatever. All right. Um, let's see. Is it Battlemaster? <clears throat> it's combat superiority. Yeah, no, I don't think action points fit in. I, I've been ignoring that, to be honest. Uh, all right, I just wanted to be sure because okay. I've been looking over the uh, DVDs for 5B and I didn't see anything about action source. points. If anyone ever brought it up and they like wanted something from that, I'd probably be like, "You get an inspiration." Like, all right, because that you know, I don't think it would break the game if you guys got a free inspiration on a critical hit if you got no other benefit. Mm. That's that's rare enough that it's like, eh, whatever. Okay. Woo. I don't know how much I'm going to be around today, actually. I'm really hungry. Mm. I would send you this, but I don't think we'll get there in time. Yeah. Probably not. Okay, I can send you guys my recipe if you want. It only <laughs> takes like two and a half hours to cook. Uh, that's too long. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, if I ever go to a con, I'll make this for you guys. You can make a crap ton of it for a lot of people, and it's fairly cheap. Swig. And really good. Swiggity right, swatty. So you guys, you guys just gotta figure out a way to get me up to Canada. I think the chat stopped like it's actually saying stuff for a while there. Uh oh, oh did it? No, yeah, it's weird because it was like. Mm -hmm. It is for the fighter class. It gets some special abilities. Yeah, I actually just looked through the archetypes. I, I think that's a four E thing. I don't think that's. Uh, Okay. I don't think that's 5e fighter. Is Buddy still here? And Can I have you started, back that up? Uh, yeah. I have started the after game chat. Where'd Buddy go? Buddy's not here anymore. He said he'd BRB and then and then died. He didn't come back. <laughs> he and left started Gary. I guess he just didn't like us that much. I see how it is. Yeah. Well, Y'all didn't that notice game. though, so I guess it really wasn't that important. <laughs> yeah. I. We'll say I enjoyed that encounter. It was really fun. Was I, I loved it. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, so you got the um, the post stream chat up. I do have the post screen the post stream chat up. Would you like to direct people over to it? Well, if you would like to go over to the post stream, everybody, there is a uh, it's it's going on around uh, over at Summoners Network YouTube.com slash Summoners Network. Uh, I don't have a link. I'm gonna go grab one. I imagine <laughs> that I I imagine that posted. others will be putting the links into the various chats here in a second. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you both, Emerald and Finn. Oh, thanks, Finn. <laughs> we're gonna do the post. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do the post. I'm gonna post. We're going to the post. I'm uh. I'm gonna post. <laughs> gonna do the post. We're gonna do the post. I'm gonna post, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna post, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought up, uh, I I brought up on uh, the po on the post stream this time because I wanted to see if you wanted to look at it, uh, Crow. But um, this is how I just kind of look at the fantasy crowd stuff. Okay. Um, I'm going to end my stream before I look at it. Uh, we'll see mm. you guys over there, or we won't. If we don't, see you guys tomorrow on uh, Izzy and my. Um, Sunday gaming streams. We're probably going to play more Dream Daddy, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, um, God. I still want to play that. And uh, and if we don't see you then, see you next time we stream, or at least next week. Same nat next 19 time, time uh, same nat 19 place. 
Like, no, matter, no matter how many times I say that, it will it will never be as cool as I want it to be. It's Bye. not gonna, it's, it's not gonna stick. <laughs> Bye -bye. It will never.